the sisters, you are not loud enough. Uh, Brothers, can you raise it by fire? In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and begin to command your glory to speak. In the land of the living, somebody is already breaking through with this press. Jesus name we pray this of you at the altar stretch your right hand towards me if you are watching us anywhere too and this case concerns you get on your knees and do what exactly what do I do father let your power fall upon these hands you said we shall lay our hands on the sick and they shall recover let the power of recovery fall upon these hands in the name of Jesus. I'm going to count seven from here. Smite your womb area aggressively. Seven times. Even if it's painful, don't worry. Smite it. Something is about to happen. One. Two. You cannot hide. Three, four, five, six, seven. You cannot hide. Enough is enough. Loose your hood. 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 Every plantation by the stubborn spirit husband. Loose your hold. Loose your hold. Loose your hold. Loose your hold. In the name of Jesus. Everybody will shout this louder than anyone around them. Don't say, I think I've prayed this before. Arrows from the cradle. What are you doing in my life? Can you shout that loud? Your voice is not aggressive enough. Come help now! In the name of Jesus. Continue, continue. Jesus, then we we'll pray. Get yourself ready again. Those of you at the altar. Now you are going to smite ten times. Something is coming out. Something is being dissolved. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Check your body now. Check your body now. Check your body now. Yes, that which has been planted there by the enemy has vanished. Check it now. Yes, check it very well. Yes. Makatenda le kayabo shende. Ribosepe le kayabo shende. Nakandera bosanda yabosa. Yes. Yes. If you find a swelling that has disappeared in your body, 
Talk to the ministers here and the ushers about it. Don't let the devil put it back. Everybody will shout this loud and clear. Documents of my parents' errors. In the coven of darkness. Documents of my parents' errors. In the coven of darkness. That is putting my progress on hold. Can I hear you shouting here? Shout it loud. Catch fire. In the name of Jesus. Something is up over there. Yes, yes. Command it to catch fire. In Jesus' name we pray. So every tongue gather to destroy me. Destroy yourself. In the name of Jesus. This is not a night to negotiate. Yes. Yes. Yes, yes. Jesus then we pray let's check that womb once the fiber has disappeared the pain has disappeared find a way quickly to the altar here don't let the devil put it back thank you Jesus as we pray this next prayer if you are here in this meeting you have had partial stroke before. The enemy has been trying to attack you with paralysis. Find a way to the altar here. As you pray this next one. If you have a testimony, just share it with the pastor over there. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Can you shout this loud? Those of you at the altar, pray it with fire and with power. I shall not see shame. Shame manufacturers. Carry your shame in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth, open your mouth and decree it.
receive the torture of the power receive the torture of the fire receive the touch of the power now power of god in the name of jesus move 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 in jesus name we pray this prayer will cause great deliverance for thousands of people here tonight. Can you shout this loud and clear? Tongues of wicked elders are signed against me. Can you shout it loud? Dry up! In the name of Jesus. Dry up their tongue. This is not a day to negotiate. Jesus name we pray if you are here in this meeting you are in a place of work the place who has contract staff you have worked for years they refuse to permanent your appointment but you want to be a permanent staff find a way quickly to this altar and the next two prayers pray it with fire and with power you have been working hard there but they've kept you on contract staff but you want a permanent thing find a way to this altar now pray the way you have never prayed before everybody in this gathering tonight let your voice be the loudest as we shout this Oh God, arise! Give me a new name that will rubbish my enemies. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth, open your mouth, open your mouth. Give me a new name that will rubbish my enemies. In Jesus' name we pray. Now, everybody in this garden, shout this one 21 times. When you get to number 10, the power from heaven hanging around here will fall on so many people. Make sure your voice is the loudest here. Say, I receive power from on high in the name of Jesus. Can you repeat that? Let me hear you. Amen. Now, 21 hot times. When you get to number 10, something will happen. Are you ready? Open your mouth and pray. Number two. Number three. Number four. Number five. Number six. 
Makapota Satella. Number six. Number seven. Number eight. Number nine. Number ten. Makata Satella Kayabosha. Aha. Receive it, 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 receive it. That's a power, that's a power, that's a power, that's a power. What is happening? Yes. Separate again. Lay your hand on your tummy, your stomach, on the top of your belly button, on the top of your belly button. Shout this loud and clear. And central power, sir, that want me to die in battles. Can you shout it with only anger? Your time is up. Day. In the name of Jesus. Yes. Jesus name we pray as we pray this next prayer if you are in this meeting you are praying to have a scholarship to study and you believe in the God of signs and wonders find a way to this altar now and be on your knees Pray the two prayers here the way you have never prayed before. Can you shout this loud? Anointing to erase insult. Come upon my Lord in the name of Jesus. To erase insults, come upon my life now. In Jesus' name, we pray. You that lady over there. I have a prayer for you here. Makatesa Lekaya Boshanda. Those powers. 
preparing the wrong man or woman for you to marry. Yes. Release her now. Those powers preparing the wrong woman for this man to marry. Release him now. Those powers saying that you will not marry at all. I bury them now. 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 In the name of Jesus. Those powers saying your children will not marry. I bury them now in the name of Jesus. Yes, I will fold their mind to that. With hunger in your soul. Pray this loud and clear. Some people did this against Paul in the Bible. They failed. They will fail in your case too. Power, sir. Praying and fasting to see my end. Can you shout with it only anger? Your time is up. Dead. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Arrows from satanic birds. Jesus. Arrows from satanic birds. Command them to backfire now. In the name of Jesus. Jesus name we pray every altar in my place of birth can you shout it loud steal him from me catch for in the name of Jesus Jesus name we pray three more prayers before you sit down you are here in this meeting today is actually your first day here just by stepping there today the Lord who sees your heart 
has destroyed those stubborn battles. <laughs> if you are that person, today is your first day here. <laughs> you have been facing battles. <laughs> Find a way to this altar <laughs> and be on your knees too. <laughs> if you have won the battle just by stepping out. <laughs> but find a way to this altar and be on your knees and pray seriously pray seriously today is your first day here but you've been facing battles find a way to this place and get on your knees and pray seriously say every dragon can you shout it loud? Yes. Hanging around my glory. Can you shout it loud? Yes. Jesus then we pray two more prayers while laying your hand on your head you will shout this loud and clear my head my head my head can you shout that loud Hear the word of the Lord. Arise and shout. In the name of Jesus. Jesus' name we pray. One more now before you sit down. But if you are here in this meeting, you dreamt a personality came to you and told you point blank, point blank, that you will never marry. Find a way to the altar. Also, if you are here, and presently there is a satanic conspiracy against you in your place of work find a way to this altar too and be on your knees this is not a time to negotiate can you shout this loud and clear everybody even if you don't understand the prayer pray it with anger Every ghostly spirit affecting my destiny. Death. In the name of Jesus. The ghostly spirit.
Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Now the power of God is coming upon you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Add this one before you sit down. There is a woman who needs to pray this prayer very well. And a breakthrough will start today. Everybody shout this loud and clear. Blessings that the enemy has killed. Hear the word of the Lord. Wake up in the name of Jesus. Jesus name we pray. Yes, I will fall the night. Father, we thank you for tonight. For this first manna water service. As many as are gathered here, I decree upon your life and I prophesy upon you that every agenda of darkness for your life this year is scattered in the name of Jesus. Whether the enemy likes it or not, whether it is convenient for the enemy or not, you are not permitted to fail in the name of Jesus. Whether it is convenient for the enemy or not. Whether they like it or not. Your head. Your head. Your head. Must be lifted up in the name of Jesus. Must be lifted up. Must be lifted up. Must be lifted up. Must be lifted up. Let your amen roll like thunder. They must be lifted up. Must be lifted up. Must be lifted up. Must be lifted up. In the name of Jesus. And you, that person over there, the strange voice that has been telling you that nothing can be done about your situation. I bury that voice in the name of Jesus. And every battle assigned to destroy your labor, assigned to destroy your family, Assigned to destroy your business, assigned to destroy your career. I command them to die in the name of Jesus. Makatendali koyabo shenteraba, ribosapande koyabo. 
every poison of slavery hiding in anybody's glory I said the poison the poison of slavery hiding inside anybody's glory catch fire in the name of Jesus catch fire 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 light your amen roll like thunder catch fire in the name of Jesus seven persons here the power of God will fall upon you and you definitely not be able to stand on your feet because now this prayer is addressing the root of your trouble I decree that that village river that will not allow you to prosper I command that river to release you now in the name of Jesus be released, 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 in the name of Jesus. That's the first person. That's number two. That's number three. That's number four. That's number five. Number six is on the gallery. That's number seven. Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Voices from the grave. Walking against my family. Death. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and decree it. In Jesus' name we pray. It's the same prayer you are going to pray again. Now you personalize it to yourself now. Voices from the grave crying against my life. Duh! In the name of Jesus. Jesus name we pray the next voice we wish to silence is the voices of witchcraft witchcraft is public enemy number one can you raise up your voices loud and clear voices of witchcraft Walking against my destiny. Death. 
in the name of Jesus. name we pray voices of my foundation crying against my destiny in the name of Jesus Jesus name we pray a machine gun prayer it's a prayer that picks a point you are emphasizing it emphasizing it emphasizing it like the cry of black Bartimaeus all he was saying like Jesus son of David have mercy on me Jesus son of David have mercy on me so it was, it was a machine gun prayer he was praying can you shout this loud and clear? Power, son! Giving me the name God did not give to me. Is that the loudest you can shout it? You are alone! In the name of Jesus! Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. This next prayer, if you are in this meeting, you've come from a family where a sickness has formed a pattern. Find a way to the altar. Everybody in the family is having the sickness. Find a way to this altar. Pray with fire and with power. Don't negotiate. Power, sir. Assigned to destroy my job. Death. In the name of Jesus. Carry your load in this prayer to machine gun prayer. Carry your load. Carry, once, once you say it once, it's carry your load that you should be saying. Powers! Transferring their problems into my life. Carry your load! In the name of Jesus.
carry your load carry your load Jesus name we pray voices from the grave calling my name Dad! in the name of Jesus Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Stretch your right hand towards this altar now. Father, let your power fall upon this hand. Let this hand become the hands of healing, deliverance, and power. Let it become a yoke-breaking hand. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. If you have any infirmity in your body, smite it 21 times and shout blood of Jesus. Let's go. Continue. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Amen. Check your body now. Begin to do what you could not do before. Put your faith into action. Thank you, Jesus. You will shout this loud and clear. Doors that will move me forward. Open by fire. In the name of Jesus. Does that to move me forward? Open by fire. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. You say every power questioning my breakthrough. You are a liar. In the name of Jesus. That's right. Yeah. 
Basantala kaya bo shandaraba. In Jesus' name we pray. Now with violence and anger. Pray this third one. Every agreement against me. At witchcraft covers. Can you shout this loud and Scatter by fire. In the name of Jesus. Scatter the evil agreement. Basenta. Likapola kaya boko shendera basenta. Scatter the evil agreement. In Jesus' name we pray. My days of greatness. Shout this loud.
continue, continue, continue. Don't be tired. Aha, 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 aha. In Jesus' name we pray. We're making progress. Those of you at the altar here, at my front here, your head, which is the symbol of your destiny, begin to shake that head now. Shake it vigorously. As you shake it, the arrows of discouragement, the arrows of death and hell, begin to go back to the senders. Shake it! Amen! Basanda Katela Bakayaba. Ribosopala Kayaba Shentera Baraba. Yes. Yes. Beginning from tonight. All the doors that the enemies have closed against you. I command them to open now. Let them be open. 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 Whatever distance I've been stolen from your life, by the enemy, recover it now. Recover it. Recover it. Recover it. Recover. 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 Recover it. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Cover your children at the altar with the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. You may go back to your seat now. Rejoicing. Declaring that I shall not die but live. To declare the works of God. I shall not die but live. To declare the works of God. Maseka pota likare bosanda yaba. Makanda rabosanta. Aha. Every wind. Bogwa fefe of satanic storm. Ti jizadani. Fired against me. Do you want to see me? Can I hear you shouting this? Can your voice be louder than that? Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Three powers to confront before we leave this place. One is the power of the emptiers. Work hard. Putting effort, the thing is gathering itself together. All of a sudden, something comes and pour everything that you have worked out for away. Power on the empty. Jesus. 
Jesus' name we pray. With more aggression, to battle the second spirit. Power of the wasters. I am not your candidate. In the name of Jesus. The wasters. I Continue, continue, continue. That's why you today is today. Oh, no, no, no. Enough is enough. Oh, to go. Makasente ya boshende ra baka. Fala baka ya ba. In Jesus' name we pray. Lord, we call Jesus. La ba dula. This is number three. Ikatari. As we are praying this number three, if you are in this meeting, and you can remember clearly, very clearly, that somebody issued a curse on you, that it will not be well for you, and you can see the outworking of that curse. Maybe it's your stepmother, or even your own parents. Find a way quickly to this altar. And be on your knees. And pray like a man or woman from another world. It is dangerous to keep quiet. It is dangerous not to pray with fire and with power. You will shout this louder than anyone here. Power of failure. Then we pray. Father, I'm praying for these children at the altar. Those of you at the altar here. This sevenfold amen, I want you to shout. When you shout the seventh one, it is likely you may not be able to remain kneeling. You may fall. Because the personality sponsoring curses in your life will jump out. When you shout the seventh prayer, when you shout amen to the seventh one, every curse of failure Every curse of retrogression. Every curse of lack of prosperity. He should against anyone at the altar here. By the power in the blood of Jesus. By the power that establishes the heavens and the earth. Let them break now in the name of Jesus. Number two. Number three. Number four. Number five. Number six. Number seven. Ah. Basati ali katenda ya boshende laba. And they're coming out. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. 
May go back to your seat rejoicing now. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Aha. 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 That's right. Yes. The satanic handcuff that put on your two hands that is binding your prosperity. Look at what is happening. Fire is burning in those two hands now. That's right. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Operation of the night. You are a liar. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. Every demon. 
demonic foundation troubling my destiny clear away in the name of Jesus clear away the demonic foundation as many as will pray this next prayer with violent fire shall experience the God of divine acceleration say oh God Allah increase my speed Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Let us have ready now. Right there where you are. With your voice roaring like thunder. Please, this is not a night to negotiate. It's not a time to even start saying, let me pray a little first. You must start with fire. Powers of the night! Attacking my destiny! In the name of Jesus! Master on your head and the other one on your chest and let your amen roar like thunder I'm going to pray with you first later you will start to pray for yourself as many people as love their destiny here tonight to allow their amen to roar like thunder during this short prayer I want to pray anything can happen but concentrate don't lose focus forget any problem that you brought here now your mind may be the fertilizer keeping the problem in place. Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus. Masakapata Nikaribo Sender. Father, I pray right now that as many people as are here tonight and the mind is a ladder through which all kinds of troubles are coming in like the ladder of darkness opening the gates of the mind break now break 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 Something is happening over there. 
You the strong man that is occupying that mind. You the strong man that has been controlling this woman. You cannot con continue the control. I know you have been hiding there for years, but you cannot continue the hiding game. So you that strong man controlling the mind, controlling the soul, controlling the spirit, come out now! Lose your hold. 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 In the name of Jesus. You can't continue. Enough is enough. Maseta Kalikanda. Rima Sadira Kata Kayabo Shenta. Let the fire of the Holy Ghost I enter into the heart. I enter into the mind. I enter into the body. I enter into the spirit. You the strong man. Controlling the heart. Controlling the spirit. Lose your hold. 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 In the name of Jesus. It's time for the God of Elijah to begin work. Maseta Katenda. Ribe Nikatenda Yabash. Yes. Amen. Let me put your hand down. It's time for you to now pray for yourself. If you are in this meeting tonight and before you got born again or when you were ignorant, you accompanied some boys to go and rape some people or you raped a woman on your knees as all of us pray this prayer loud and clear. Shout this loud and clear, beloved. Every dark control of my destiny. Dark in the name of Jesus. Every dark control of my destiny. Dark. Something is happening here tonight. Jesus, Silence, silence. Begin to shake your head vigorously. Shake vigorously. As you're doing that, the electric power of God is flowing from the top of your head to the soles of your feet. And as that fire is flowing through, yokes have been broken. That's right. Continue, continue. Continue. The serpent. That has entered into your body. I said the serpent ablaze. I said it 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 ablaze. In the name of Jesus. Father, let every mind control spirit affecting this, your children, be broken off now. In the name of Jesus. Every agenda of darkness that has been pressurizing your life. Let that agenda be cancelled now. In the name of Jesus. Let there be a reconstruction. Let there be a new beginning. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Jesus' name we pray. As 
to pray this next prayer. If you are in this meeting tonight and you used to have very, very painful menstruation, very painful, lay your hands on your tummy and let your prayer roar like fire and like thunder. This is not a time to negotiate. We are not here to negotiate. Can I hear everybody else shouting this loud and clear? Evil remote controlling power. I am not your candidate. In the name of Jesus. Oh yes. Oh yes. Oh yes. Oh yes. Oh yes. Makapota. Riba sati alikata. Yes, every power controlling you from afar. I command it to lose your hold. 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 In the name of Jesus. Lose your hold. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Lay your hands on your womb area within the next few seconds. An angel of God will visit you and lay his hands on your hand. Then you may begin to feel the fire inside the womb. That's the fire. It's happening already. That's the fire. That's the fire. That's the fire. Every agenda of darkness or the womb of anyone, I cancel it by fire. In the name of Jesus, receive your healing. Receive your deliverance. 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 In the name of Jesus. The forces you have been seeing today troubling your womb. Beginning from this very day, you shall see them no more. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Jesus, let me pray. You will not see these Egyptian forces again. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. As we pray this next prayer, if you are in this meeting today, you are constantly sick, constant sickness, be on your knees. Everybody will shout this loud and clear. This particular prayer we're going to pray here tonight will send evil arrows back to the senders. Everybody will shout this loud and clear. Can you say this with all of the power in your voice? Repeated affliction! There's repeated affliction. Command them to die. That's right. Command them to die. Enough is enough. Masopola kaya boko shenta raboka. Daribo soponde kaya boko shenta rabosanta. Open your mouth, open your mouth, open your mouth. That's why Jesus brought you here. Repeated affliction. Your time is up. Da. Masenta kaya boshenta. In Jesus' name we pray. Silence. I am going to count seven. At the count of seven, a volcanic eruption of the power of God will fall upon you. And the yoke of constant infirmity and affliction will be swept away. One, two, three, four, five, six. And seven. They're going out. They're going out. The constant infirmity. 
water in the blood, in the chest, in the body, in the soul, in the spirit. Out. I decree that as from today, you shall see them no more. 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 In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Look at what is happening tonight. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. With fire in your voice, we now want to pray this prayer. This prayer, thousands have prayed and they have received breakthroughs. You too will pray tonight and receive breakthrough. Don't worry about the wordings of the prayer. Just pray it anyway. Say, demonic stone placed on my heart. Can I hear you saying that loud and clear? I want your scatter to roar like thunder. Say it again. Shout it again loud and clear. Shout it again loud and clear. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to scatter the stone. Jesus name we pray straight oh God around wipe out the understanding of my stubborn pursuers wipe out their understanding can you shout it loud In the name of Jesus, wipe out the understanding of my stubborn pursuers. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Say, my enemies shall bow to my glory can I hear the sisters shouting this prayer is that the Lord that the sister can shout this brothers let me hear you roaring like thunder everybody together now in the name of Jesus they must bow Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Say so every traffic of witchcraft. Delay my manifestation. Clear away. In the name of Jesus. The traffic of witchcraft. Delay my manifestation. Command them to clear the way. In Jesus' name we pray. Uh, somebody needs to pray this prayer with anger and with fire. So strange birds. 
surrounding my glory say it with anger let that voice roar like thunder catch fire in the name of Jesus deal with these strange birds somebody is already breaking through with this prayer Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. That wants me to die before my glory appears. Can you shout that loud? You are a liar. Yeah. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and begin to pray. Powers that was me to die before my glory appears. My potter said, Yes, that power must be disgraced. In the name of Jesus, Papa Lakaya Boshanta Rabo Santa. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. E Jesus. Then we pray. I'm going to come from one to seven. Smite your head seven times. On your head lies the ear which represents your glory. Something is about to happen to you now that will change your story forever. When you smite that head, you will shout with a loud voice, fire! One! Two! Three! Four! Five! Six! Aha. Now begin to shake that head. Shake it vigorously. Today is a day of deliverance. Shake it vigorously. Something is coming out. Yes, shake it. Every arrow fired into the brain, fired into the head that they are using to manipulate your glory. Out, 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 in the name of Jesus. Every power that has been manipulating your glory, I bind them and I cast them out in the name of Jesus. Beginning from today, your story must change. 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 In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we pray. You, that person, that the enemy has been harassing. Enough is enough. Yes. I command the power of the oppressor to release your legs. Release your hands. To release your body. In the name of Jesus. Owners of evil law. What are you waiting for? Carry your law. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and decree it. Command them to carry their loads. In Jesus' name we pray. Say, where is the Lord God of Elijah? Arabs, let my 
story change in the name of Jesus. Cry unto the Lord now for a change of story. Your story must change, your story must change. Papola Katende Rabo Shente Rabo Santa. The river Sopone Kayabo. Bali Katende Kayabo Shente Rabo Santa. Your story must change. Amen. Pray this prayer with violence and with power. Without any apology to any power. Anything can happen now. Pray the way you have never prayed before. Surprise! That handed me over to the strong man. You are a liar. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Power that handed him over to the strong man. Die in the name of Jesus. Amen. Raise your two hands to the heaven as you pray this prayer. The louder you pray it, the faster. My blessings held up in the covers. Come out, my fire. In the name of Jesus, come on, to come out. Ma pote seteli kaya boshanda. Ribosopon de Kaya Boshenta Rabosante In Jesus' name we pray. If you are that person that you know that your body is decaying internally, nobody needs to tell you, you can smell it. Right there where you are, begin to drink the blood of Jesus. Drink it, drink it, drink it. Drink it, drink it, drink, 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 drink the blood of Jesus. Aha. I command you to recover yourself now. In the name of Jesus. With a military voice. Shout this. I shall laugh last. You are not shouting it yet. You are still not shouting it yet. Over my enemies. By the power in the blood of Jesus, open your mouth and decree. In Jesus' name, we pray. Now, from inside your belly not just from the mouth alone. If you believe that prayer you just prayed, 
with a loud voice begin to laugh your enemies to scorn <laughs> yes love them to scorn love them to scorn <laughs> Make it louder, make it louder. <laughs> Aha. Amen. I shall love Lord over my enemies by the power in the blood of Jesus. Shout it again. Shout it a second time. Make it louder now. A louder amen. Let your amen roar like thunder as I pray now. In this prayer session, anything can happen at any time. Father, in the name of Jesus. Your amen is not loud enough. Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you because your word says that oppression shall be far away from us. Your word says, they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. Your word says, no weapon formed against us shall prosper. Father, I decree right now that anyone the weapon of the enemy is already prospering in your life. Receive your deliverance in the name of Jesus. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive your deliverance. Receive your deliverance. Receive your deliverance. Receive your deliverance. My support Receive your deliverance. In the name of Jesus. When I say one, two, three, go now. You shout the name of Jesus seven aggressive times. And then you keep quiet. One, two, three, go! Shout it again! is written anyone that calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved as many as have called upon the name of the Lord just now receive your breakthroughs now in the name of Jesus receive it 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 in the name of Jesus. Silence. Father, all who have been dedicated to one idol or the other, consciously or unconsciously. Father, these are your angels that are moving around. Let them begin to touch them. Yes. All those who have been dedicated by their parents or anything. Receive your deliverance in the name of Jesus. Say, I receive power to rewrite my family history by the power in the blood of Jesus. Can you shout that loud? Shout it again! In the name of Jesus! Open your mouth and begin to pray! G. 
Jesus name we pray all eyes closed the prayers I want you to pray now they are not ordinary prayers but it's important that you do not negotiate with the enemy it's important that you do not joke with the prayers at all it's important that you pray it well violently immediately the process of this prayer start the miracle hand of God will begin to work some people it will go back 20 years 30 years 50 years some will just see the body lifting away some may actually see the strong man pulling out of their bodies if you pray this prayer and you lose your voice but the process of deep deliverance happens in your life you will have done yourself a world of favor why the process of this prayer is going on there are people all your life they have been pressing you down it is those power that are pressing you down that you want to unseat now there are people the enemy has fired all kinds of arrows into your body so as if the body does not belong to you you will see what will happen in the next five minutes if you will open your mouth and pray aggressively blind Bartimaeus screamed and cried out Jesus son of David have mercy on me his voice was loud enough to embarrass people for the voice of a single man to embarrass a crowd it must be a serious cry it is that kind of cry that can get the breakthrough the bible says in the day that i cry then shall my enemies come back there is somebody here immediately you begin to cry out to god now the enemies that pursue your grandfather pursue your father as now pursue you shall be buried alive if in the process of these prayers you find that you could not remain on your feet right down on the floor where you are continue the prayers now place your hand on your belly button area with a voice that nobody beside you will overshadow you will shout this loud and clear blood of jesus deliver my foundation in the name of jesus there must be great deliverance thank you jesus thank you jesus name we pray uh -huh. we are making progress we are making huge progress say voices from my foundation that are attacking my star yeah! in the name of Jesus Open your mouth, open your mouth, open your mouth. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. I am going to count seven from here, which is a sign of perfection. Something is going to happen to three groups of people. Number one set of people. Everywhere you go, you face unexplainable hatred. The power of God will fall upon you, and that yoke shall be broken. Number two, you are at the edge of a serious breakthrough right now. But some forces have just risen up again to steal that breakthrough. As I count seven, the power of God will fall upon you. And that yoke shall be broken. 
and by the next farmers changers you come here with your testimony as i count to seven all those who are here and you came here almost lifeless the power of god will fall upon you and your blood that has been taken away shall be returned one two three four five six seven Yes, you have been operating for a long time. Today is the expiry date of that operation. Masi katende kaya bo shende raba. Rima sapi ali katende. Just shake the serpent out of your head. Shake the serpent out of your head. Masi katende kaya bo shanda. Aha. Yes. Amen. You that unexplainable swelling in the body, I command you to depart from your hiding place in the name of Jesus. Yes. In the name which is above all names, Jesus Christ. The son of the living God. Right there where you are. Receive the touch of the great physician in the name of Jesus. Receive the touch of the great physician in the name of Jesus. Aha. Uh -huh. There are serious prayers to pray. Very serious prayers. If you pray this prayer. This single prayer will bring you uncommon testimonies pray this prayer to encounter your testimonies joy swallowers of my father's house is that the loudest you can shout it your voice is still not loud enough Make it a louder shout. Yeah! In the name of Jesus. Those who are swallowing the joy of your father's house. Open your mouth, open your mouth, open your mouth. Yes, in Jesus' name we pray. This is wonderful. This is wonderful. Stretch your right hand towards me here. Father, these hands that are stretched here, let his hand carry the fire power of God. Let it carry the healing power of Jehovah. Amen. When he uses his hand this day, every bondage shall be broken. Amen. And every arrow of death and hell shall go back to the senders. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Now, anywhere you are having problem in your body, smite it without mercy 21 times. And shout, go back to your senders. In the name of Jesus. Go back to your senders in the name of Jesus. Let's go. Satania Aha, aha, aha. Thank 
you Jesus Amen check your body now do what you could not do before say this after me anything in the land of the dead troubling my life is praise for somebody here because your breakthrough has to happen today 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 and it is loud and clear every satanic claim over my life can you say this with only anger you are a liar in the name of Jesus just deal with the claim of darkness over your life and claim that they have over me and I claim it dissolved by the fire of the Holy Ghost I send patent the Kaya Boshendera Aha, 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 In Jesus' name we pray. That's wonderful. Now say this again loud and clear. Say terminator power. Hear the word of the Lord. Can you say that loud and clear? I terminate you now. In the name of Jesus. We are to begin to terminate the terminators. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, 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 Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Let the person who wants the largest breakthrough here ensure that they pray this prayer with violence and with power. Expected and unexpected testimonies. Expected and unexpected testimonies. Manifest in my life in the name of Jesus. Aha, aha, aha. In Jesus' name we pray. Amalekite padlocks. Are sign against my destiny. You want your Lord to see your mommy. Catch fire. In the name of Jesus. Deal with your padlocks. Masikate kaya bo shendera bo kolaba, banna kantendera bo sopola kaya bo shendera ba. The power of God in the name of Jesus. Yes. In Jesus' name we pray.
We are making great progress. Yokes of the Amalekite. Amaleki. I sign against my Lord. You are your Lord, Masika tenda kaya bo shentera bo kola makaya ba. Jokes of the Amalekites are signed against my life. Break, 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 break. In the name of Jesus. Aha, 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 aha. In Jesus' name we pray. Any power that says I will not live and prosper. Can you shout it with only anger? What are you waiting for? Damn! In the name of Jesus. Oh, yes. Makapota setende keyabo shende raba kopea. Daliba sopende keyabo. In Jesus' name we pray. Any spiritual gun targeted at my glory. Can I hear you saying that again? Back for in the name of Jesus. Yes. See what is happening now? In Jesus' name we pray. Surprise! Abara. Sucking goodness from my body. Don't join me. Is that the loudest you can shout? Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. So any power that says I will not rise while they are still alive. Can you shout this with only anger? Your voice is not loud enough. Kill yourself in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Open your mouth and decree it. In Jesus' name we pray. The powers working against answers to my prayers. Can I hear the sisters shouting this one? Sisters, I want you to be more aggressive. Brothers, let me hear you roaring like thunder. Death! In the name of Jesus. Bakaposa lakaya bo shende rabo kusotonda yaba. Jesus.
Jesus name we pray oh God give me a miracle that will make me forget my past sufferings Oh God, give me a miracle that will make me forget my past sufferings in the name of Jesus. Makate se tende ke yabo shende raba. Put your mouth up, put your mouth up, put your mouth up, put your mouth. In Jesus' name we pray. Say long term battles. In my life. Come out. And die. Can I hear you shouting this? Your voice is not loud enough. Your voice is still not loud enough. In the name of Jesus. Bakapo sete la kaya bo shendera bo koponda kantera ba. Da kaya bo shendera bo setia. Yes. Open your mouth, open your mouth, open your mouth, open your mouth, open your mouth. In Jesus' name we pray. A cultic arrows. Oh, fire go, Kuku. Fired against me. Do you want to see me? Back fire! In the name of Jesus. Something is happening here tonight. This is not a night to negotiate. Bakapota la kaya bo shendera bo sonta. Aha, 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 aha. In Jesus' name we pray. Garment of shame and disgrace. Catch fire in the name of Jesus. Just then, Jesus' name we pray. Lord, call Jesus. I have three strange words for somebody who has prayed this prayer. The Lord said, I should tell you that every dream that translates to death, setback, if I say poverty, is failure that you have been having shall not come to pass in your life. Shall not come to pass in your life. Oh, 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 Listen, God, God's judgment of sudden destruction will fall upon the powers that do not want you to celebrate in the name of Jesus Amen Shout this with Boiling anger. Any sacrifice 
offered to cage my life. Lose your power in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to pray it. Command them to lose their power. Name we pray. As to declare these prayers loud and clear. Oh God, arise! And let my situation change. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and begin to declare it. He is Alpha and Omega, the unchangeable changer. The one who was, who is, and who is to come. The Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. In Jesus' name we pray. You will say, every root of hardship in my life. Dry up! In the name of Jesus. Or put your mouth and declare it loud and clear. Let the root of hardship dry up. In the name of Jesus. Somebody needs to pray this prayer loud and clear. In Jesus' name we pray. Oh God of promotion. Advance my life by fire. In the name of Jesus, Masekaya Boshendera Bokontera Basanta. Advance my life by fire. In Jesus' name we pray. We are going to speak to your blood now. My blood. Hear the word of the living God. Reject every sickness. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and declare that loud and clear. Masekate la kaya boshendera botanda. In Jesus name we pray. Father we thank you for another wonderful evening before you. I will praise the holy name because you are the God of righteousness and power. We thank you because of the mightiness of your name and your power. And we thank you because you are the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. Him who was, who is, and who is to come. Accept our thanks in Jesus' name. This evening, open our understanding. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Tonight, by the grace of God, we are starting a new teaching series called What is Divine Protection? What is Divine Protection? You will do well to listen to these lectures, attend regularly. You will certainly need these teachings as you go on with life and even one day. The more of defense scripture you memorize, the better for you. Psalm 71 verse 3. Can we read it together loud and clear? Let's go. The strong habitation. Where to I may continually resolve. Thou hast given commandment to save me. For thou art my rock and my... Read it again loud and clear. Be thou my strong habitation. Where unto I may continually resort. Thou hast given commandment to save me. For thou art my rock and my fortress. Read it again loud and clear. Has given commandment to save me. It is no matter the terrible situation, 
If you understand the principle of divine protection, he will give commandment to save you. Psalm 91. Psalm 91. Let's read it from verse 1 to the last verse. Psalm 91. Are you ready? Let's go. Shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler, from the noisome pestilence. Shall cover thee with his feather, and under his wings shall thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. psalm of divine protection and one very great thing you can do for your destiny and for your life is to memorize that psalm at any time you want to go into a situation confess it loud and clear the first verse says he that dwelleth in the secret place of the most high shall then abide under the shadow of of the Almighty. Bow down your heads. Pray this prayer loud and clear for yourself. Any power assigned to remove me from under the shadow of the Almighty. In the name of Jesus. Any power Sign to remove me from under that shadow of the Almighty. Command the power to die. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Look at the introduction. The enemy is now operating an uncommon rage, spreading death and destruction to mankind. All you need to do is to buy a newspaper, begin to open, you find it, rage of the enemy spread through the pages of the newspapers. Life is becoming increasingly unsafe, even in the ether though safe environment. Divine protection is therefore of utmost importance. As a matter of utmost necessity, we must learn the principles of divine protection. All believers must be aware of what is meant by spiritual attack. So that if you attack spiritually, you won't start taking injection. Because spiritual attacks don't respond to hospital injections. Spiritual defense, spiritual immunity, spiritual barricade, spiritual protection. The Lord our God is the only true security. The Bible talks about believers being the apple of the eye of the Almighty, Zechariah 2 8. It also tells that our God forms the edge of fire around us, Zechariah 2 5. Meaning that if you are the apple of the eye of God, anybody who wants to touch you, the first thing he wants to touch is to push his hands into the eye of God. Or he wants to penetrate the fire. The Bible tells us that believers are under the shadow of his wings. God the Almighty has committed himself to keeping his people safe. The Almighty has promised his people divine immunity and divine insurance. In conclusion, the Almighty has the best insurance policy. There is a serious battle going on now. The battle is getting increasingly fierce and terrible. A lot of people are being wasted. And many die at the prime of their age. A visit to the cemetery of Moshari will convince of that one. What's protection? Protection is to cover, 
to offer asylum or to offer shelter. Protection is to offer refuge, to immunize somebody against a particular thing, to serve as a buffer, to insulate and to safeguard, to secure, to provide security and to preserve, to shield and to ward off attackers, to offer insurance and to guard. All those 15 things are the meaning of what we call protection. What have we said so far? There is a serious battle going on. And one of the first principles of warfare is self-preservation. It is only when you are alive that they call you first lady, second lady, third lady. It's then they call you honorable this, Mr. This, Professor, that, Doctor, that is when you are alive they call you. You need to understand and the first principle is self-preservation. You need to know where our protection is coming from. I remember my friend a long time ago who had a big house and he got one mega who had a terrible juju on his neck to be guarding the house. He told me that one night he was watching television and the mega dancer said, Oh God, oh God, oh God, you're on your own, oh. you're on your own. Hey, do you understand what the man was saying? By the time he looked downstairs, the old building was surrounded by armed robbers. And the Megad was one of them. He too had his own gun. So my friend knew that he was on his own. True, true. I also had another friend that got some Megad to guard his house. Thieves came in. They stole. They took things away. In the morning, do you know what the Megad was saying? See, and I was dreaming of thieves. Oh. I was dreaming of thieves. Yeah, I was a man who was supposed to stay awake. Now he's talking about dreaming of thieves. At the end of the day, the ultimate security is the Lord our God. The ultimate security is the power of God. You can read all kinds of books, how to fight Kalate, how to fight Judo, how to use knife, how to use this. The ultimate security is still the power of God. And we need to understand the principle of that power. One woman wanted to go out one day. Something said, go back inside. And say, I cover myself with the blood of Jesus. So she obeyed. Went inside. I cover myself with the blood of Jesus. She went out. On the way, they will lay that car. Captured her. Tied her. Put her in the boot of that car. And drove off. Like that. And this... Where who was going? They passed the first police checkpoint. The man just held the police. Hey, oh, see, how are you? How is everything? They gave him some money. He said, go, 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 go. The woman was at the back. They got another checkpoint. I said, oh, see, oh, see, oh, see. But that day, they also said, no, wait. They brought up and said, no, I don't want money. Open your boot. That's how that woman who covered herself with the blood was delivered. Perhaps what will have happened would have been apart from losing her car they will cut the pieces of her body on the front of one idol. It is an insult on your salvation for a kidnapper to use magic power to kidnap a Christian. It's an insult on your salvation. And that kind of thing is it's even common now. Because anyone who is under the shadow of the Almighty, the enemy will be afraid of you. Kinds of protection... There are three major kinds of protection. That is protection by divine power. That's what God did for Joseph in the Bible. He did for David. He did it for Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. By releasing them from the fire. He did it for Peter, who was released from prison. He did it for Paul. That is protection by divine power. Then there is protection by satanic technology. This kind of protection is what some people go and start looking for now. A man bought a car. He put a cross by the mirror. He said that one is Christian insurance. Then he did this phalactery, tira. Put that by the gear. He said that one is Islamic protection. He now had some powerful juju again. They put them under the seat. So this one is local protection. 
All because he was afraid and he didn't want to cast on it. But when the enemy would strike, he himself drove the same vehicle under a trailer. The combined insurance that he thought he had, which as far as everyone is concerned is just satanic technology, did not help him at all. When you go for satanic protection, there are problems. You become a satanic Christmas goat. Because the devil who kept you alive and protected you will come back one day and say, Well, that was the day I protected you. Now you are my meat. That's the first disadvantage. The second disadvantage, that if you use satanic technology, you are gambling with wickedly intelligent spirits whose sole aim is to destroy. If you practice satanic technology for defense, the third disadvantage is that you are warming yourself in the fire of the enemy. And they will strike back one day. If you practice that technology, you are feeding the enemy so much that the enemy will be strong to fight you another time. Because the truth is that if which doctors don't have customers who come to them, they will look for another job. When you practice certain technology, you become double the child of hellfire. These are the disadvantages. Another disadvantage is that you just trade off your soul to wicked spirits. Another disadvantage is that you may be forming a covenant with your life. And this will eventually backfire. So at the end of the day, God is the ultimate security. God is the ultimate security. The third security is protection by man. You can employ police, you can employ all kinds of things. But at the end of the day, the Bible says, except the Lord keep the house. The labor in vain that keep it. You can employ security people to put guns and surround you. But all you need to die is for just one mosquito to bite you. And malaria starts. Are you putting chloroquine? Malaria says no. Put in another room. Malaria says no. So at the end of the day, the ultimate protection is the Lord Almighty. Many years ago, I knew somebody who protected his house by buying a parrot. Bought a power police in the house. One day, thieves came to the house and they took his things away. By the time he came, the parrot said, Oga, oh Sunday, came here, Sunday, Sunday, came here. And by the time he rushed to Sunday's house, they were just sharing his things. And police arrested Sunday and he got his things back. The man was very happy. He gave the parrot double portion of food to eat. But the second time the thieves came, the thieves came again. The thieves did not make a mistake this time. They stole the parrot itself. So there was no mistake this time. So there was nobody to tell him what had come. Ultimate protection is from the King of Kings and is from the Lord of Lords. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. In Psalm 34, verse 7, Psalm 34, verse 7, Psalm 34, verse 7 says this, The angel of the Lord encampeth round about them that fear him and delivereth them. God uses his angels for divine protection. Can you say this after me? The angel of the Lord encampeth round about them that fear him and deliver them. That's Psalm 34 verse 7. God uses his angels as agents of protection. Point number two, they say God does not withhold protection from his people. In Psalm 84 verse 11, Psalm 84 11 says, For the Lord God is a son and a shield. The Lord will give grace and glory. No good thing will he withhold from them that walk uprightly. For the Lord God is a son and a shield. The Lord will give grace and glory. No good thing will he withhold from there that walketh uprightly. I pray that the Lord will now withhold his protection from you in the name of Jesus. <laughs> Point three says, a believer can claim long life and prosperity. You can claim it. Look at what he says in Psalm 90 verse 10. Psalm 90 verse 10 says, the days of our years are three score years and ten. And if by reason of strength they be four score years, 
Yes, it's their strength, labor, and sorrow, for it is soon cut off and will fly away. You can claim long life and prosperity. Four, God promises to shield his people from evil and plagues. In Psalm 91, verse 10, said, There shall no evil before thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. God promises to shield us from evil and plague. Whether there is an infection or a disease going all over the place, He has promised to protect us. In the same Psalm 91, verse 11 to 12, He said, For He shall give His angels charge over thee, to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against a stone. He's telling us, I can to point number five there, that it will keep our feet from stumbling and from falling. In Psalm 115 verse 11, the Lord promises to help and shield his people. Then, in Psalm 121 verse 7, the Lord promises to preserve us from all evil. In Psalm 127 verse 1, it said divine protection is indispensable. Except the Lord keep the house of labor in vain that watch when the banana said divine protection is unfailing. When 10 said the Lord promises to preserve our ways. When 11 said the Lord promises to protect us by wisdom, knowledge, discretion, and understanding. 12 said the Lord promises to prolong our days. According to Proverbs 3. Then 13 divine protection promises us during sleep. When we sleep, it will protect us. Look at Proverbs chapter 3. Proverbs 3, verse 24. When thou liest down, thou shalt not be afraid. Yea, thou shalt lie down, and thy sleep shall be sweet. If you are having trouble sleeping, go and memorize that verse, and begin to confess and confess it. 14. The law of God and keeping His commandments will give us long life and peace. Look at Proverbs 14. Say, Hear, O my son, and receive my sayings. And the years of their life shall be many. Shall be many. In Proverbs 9.11, multiplication of years is promised. In Proverbs 10.27, the fear of the Lord prolongs life. And 17 is very interesting. It said the righteous is delivered from trouble. And the wicked is used in substitution. In Proverbs 11.8. That is when evil is about to take place. A divine substitution takes place. And the Lord moves out his people and moves in others to replace them. That's what the Bible says will happen. Say, God is ready to give life for your life. And give life for your sake. Remember, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego walked out of the fire. But those who went to throw them in died. Daniel walked out alive from that lion's den. But a divine substitution took place. 18. Wholesome words can preserve life. Proverbs 14, 3. 19. Trusting in God preserves life. Proverbs 35. Then immunity against satanic weapon and satanic tongue is promised. Since every tongue arises against you in judgment, thou shalt condemn. That's what Isaiah 54, 17 is saying. 21. Believers have the power to trample on all powers of darkness in all their ramifications. Whatever they are, we have the power to trample upon them. 22. The high priest prayer prayed for us by Jesus includes protection from evil. In John chapter 17, 15 and 20. The second Thessalonians 3, deliverance from the wicked man is promised. Second Timothy 4, 17 to 18, deliverance from the mouth of the lion is promised. All these passages, and all these 24 points, is to tell you that the ultimate protection comes from the Lord Almighty. Those who are qualified for divine protection are those who hearken to the voice of the Lord, those who completely repent, those who are perfect in their hearts, those who are humble in their hearts, those who run to God for help, the church of God as a whole, and the saints of God. So as far as you are a born again child of God, you are qualified for divine protection. Now we go to the seven walls of protection. There are seven walls, spiritual walls that God used to protect his people. 
The first one is the wall of fire. What is the first one, beloved? In Zechariah chapter 2, verse 5. Zechariah, second to the last book in the Old Testament. Zechariah 2, 5. For I, said the Lord, will be unto her a wall of fire round about, and will be the glory in the midst of her. One wall the Lord builds around the people is the wall of fire. And when that wall of fire is surrounding you, you become a terror in the camp of the enemy. It reminds me of that brother that was living in one room, and he didn't even know that the next room to him belonged to a native doctor. And every night this man would project into his room and want to harm the brother. But every night the man went there, he would see this halo of fire surrounding the brother and moving fast around him. And he couldn't get access to this brother. He would worry the man. Because he has been taught that he had a great power, that no power is beyond their own. But he didn't understand this fire that he could not penetrate. So he had to confront the brother. So who are you? That one didn't understand the question. I said, I'm Brother Rufus. I said, no. That's not the question. Who are you? I said, what's the problem? He said, I've been coming to your room for the past three months every day. But there is this halo of fire around you that I cannot penetrate. I pray that any power that wants to remove the fire of God surrounding you shall be disgraced in the name of Jesus. Say, I receive, I receive the wall of fire around my life, around my family. I receive the wall of fire around my life, around my family, in the name of Jesus. Say, three hot signs. the wall of fire. If God opens our eyes and we see the benefit we have in Christ and we also see these evil forces surrounding us, many of us will now understand why the pastor keeps saying depart from sin, depart from sin, be holy, be righteous, be holy, be righteous, be prayerful. The reason for those messages will be clear. Some believers were going in the desert they didn't know that some robbers were following them. They did not know at all. And these robbers followed and followed and followed them. Every night these believers will gather and pray. And they just sleep. Not knowing that these people have been following them every night. These robbers, whenever they move close to the camp of these believers, they find this tall wall of fire burning. And they cannot understand it. But one particular night, they found that although the wall of fire was there, it wasn't burning very high in some areas. It was through that one and now he jumped inside and woke them up. I said, gentlemen, I've been following you for weeks. What have you been doing for weeks that you did not do today? Because for the first time, we found a way of jumping inside. It was then those believers knelt down and began to ask for forgiveness because that was the only night they forgot to pray. I pray that whatsoever will remove that wall of fire from you, will be destroyed in the name of Jesus. The second wall is in Psalm 34 verse 7, which we have read before. Let's read it again. Psalm 34 verse 7. This is the second wall. The angel of the Lord encamped round about them that fear him and delivered them. Delivered them. So the second one of protection that God gives to us as believers is the wall of his angels. The angel of the Lord encamped around about those that fear him. As they form a wall around you, trouble comes. One will begin to practice and do things that are unholy. Things that will chase the angels of the living God away. Trouble comes. One will go to locations where the Almighty does not want us to go. The angels of God, they encamp around these people to deliver them. 
I pray that that wall of angels will surround your life always. To surround your life always in the name of Jesus. Remember a brother who went to minister in a crusade. And God moved in wonders in that crusade. It was a three day crusade. Day one. Plenty of things happened. Many who were into mass courage were doing all kinds of things. Surrender their powers. And the chief priests were angry. Second day they brought all kinds of things to the crusade. And they were firing the arrows at the man of God at the altar. But they found that nothing went wrong with him. Nothing went wrong with him. So they did not turn physical. So the third day they waited. The plan was that immediately he shared the grace on the third day. They would just rush to the front. One accord and cut him to pieces. That was the game plan. As the crusade ended on the third day, the man of God said, let us share the grace in fellowship. As they said, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ from the back, these three hefty men just came. Muscular. They wore only pants. They were shoulder higher than everybody on the crusade. They just walked straight to the altar and picked up the man of God like paper and lifted him like this upon their head. He was struggling with them too. But they just took him away. And the villagers who came to fight were happy. Said, huh? We didn't know he was even annoyed some other people. These three Giant men took him outside the village into a pathway in a bush and they set him down. And they said, Go your way. And by the time we look back, he had vanished. It was then he discovered that he had been rescued by the angels of the living God. This is why, beloved, you should not do anything that you wouldn't like anybody to read in the pulpit that you are doing. Because those things, anything you are doing that you are ashamed that others will hear, will chase the angels of God away from you. These are the facts of the case. The third wall is in Proverbs 18.10. Proverbs 18.10. The third wall is the wall of his name. Proverbs 18.10 says, The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run it into it and is safe. Can you read that verse loud and clear? Shout it again loud and clear. Can you shout it again loud and clear? Some of you might have heard me sharing this testimony before. It happened in Nigeria here. This man was in group several in the occultic world and a blood drinker. And the way they drink blood is to enter into a passenger's vehicle at a particular place, they cause accident, everybody will die, blood will flow, and he will collect his blood. This blood drinker man has three vehicles at home, three posh cars at home. But he now went to the public garage, motor park, and this bus packed full with people. He took the bus. Fortunately or unfortunately, a brother to enter the bus. As the bus was about to start moving, the brother cleared his throat. <coughs> Let us pray. And he prayed. Commit this vehicle into the hands of the Lord. In the name of Jesus. And everybody, even including Muslims, they said amen. And the vehicle moved. At the point where the accident was supposed to happen, the man did everything he ought to do to make that vehicle some assault. The vehicle just went. No problem. And he got to the next city. The man was annoyed and surprised. Because it had never happened before. He, he didn't give up. He entered a vehicle that was going from that city to another one. Fortunately or unfortunately, the same brother too entered that vehicle. The vehicle was full. Again, <coughs> he cleared his throat. Let us pray. He prayed again. Again, the man tried to cause accident. He did not succeed. Quickly, he consulted his oracles. And they pointed to that and said, that man, that man that is praying in the name of that great one, the one that is making you not to see blood, to drink now. Okay, he didn't give up to him. When they got to the second city, he took another vehicle again. Fortunately or unfortunately, the brother to enter the same vehicle. Meanwhile, the brother did not know that he was being watched. He had no clue of what was going on. 
He was just praying his prayers. As the vehicle was full again, and we were about to move off, <laughs> let us pray. At that level, the man said, no, 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 no. Ah, this, this country is a free country, freedom of religion. You have no right to pray in this place. You can't impose your religion upon us. This is a free country. Let this vehicle go. You have no right to pray. Ah. So, you know, Nigerians. And I said, ah, Mr. Man, what's your problem? This is very simple. Let him pray his prayer. Then you too, pray your prayer. All of us will say, Amen. Then we go. So, oh, what's your problem? I said, oh, can Mr. Man, pray your prayer, yo. And he prayed again. And the accident did not happen. When they got to the final bus stop, they now pursued the brother. So what power do you have? Because for the first time, the brother knew that he was really in danger. But it is written, The name of the Lord is a strong power. Shout it loud and clear. Shout it again loud and clear. The righteous run it into it and is safe. The fourth wall is the wall you find in Psalm 91, verse 1. Psalm 91, verse 1. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. The wall of his shadow. The shadow of the Almighty. Once you dwell under that shadow, it's like a wall around you, and the enemy cannot come close to your life. The fifth wall, you find in Psalm 91, verse 4. He shall cover thee with his words, feather, and under his wings shall thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. There is a wall of his wings. As you dwell under his wings, he will cover you day and night. And whether you go by road or by air, by whatever journey you travel, the wall of his wings is enough to protect you. The sixth wall, Psalm 125, from 1 to 3. Psalm 125, verse 1. They that trust in the Lord shall be as Mount Zion, which cannot be removed but abided forever. As the mountains are round about Jerusalem, so the Lord is round about his people. The Lord himself is round about his people from henceforth even forever. For the rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous, lest the righteous put forth their hands into iniquity. So there is a wall of his presence. Wall of his presence. Says, as the mountains are round about Jerusalem, in 125 verse 2, so the Lord is round about his people. The wall of his presence. The wall of his presence. The seventh wall is the wall of the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus is the ever efficacious power to protect his people. Those are the seven walls the Lord uses to surround his people. When we say divine protection, protection from war. Here you see 14 things that the Almighty protects us from. Number one, from evil. Number two, it keeps us from falling. Number three, it keeps us in the way we follow. Four, it keeps us from temptation. Five, it provides a refuge for us. Six, it defends us against our enemies. Seven, it defeats the counsels of our enemy. Eight, he rescues us from temptation. Nine, he delivers us from persecution. He protects us from calamities. He protects us from all dangers. He is with us in all places. That thing, he protects us in our sleep. And then he protects us from death. Those are the 14 major things that the divine protection of the Almighty protects us from. So in a nutshell, beloved, divine protection is the ultimate protection which comes from dwelling in the secret place of the Most High. And when it protects you, it covers you, it provides you refuge, it insulates you, it provides you with security, it gives you a shield, and it becomes your buckler. The Lord will protect you and your family in the name of Jesus.
Amen. I thank God for those of you who surrender your life to Jesus Christ in this program. God bless you in Jesus' name. You've taken the most important decision in life, and I'll rejoice with you. For more information, counseling, and prayers, kindly send your name, your address, your telephone number to the WhatsApp number displayed on the screen. You can also send us an email. The email address is also displayed on the screen. And we shall be getting across to you shortly. God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. I want you to pray the following prayers. It is very sad and very wicked when people gather while you are asleep to begin to summon you for destruction. The following prayers I want you to pray is to dismantle any satanic technology against your safety. It's to dismantle any power lighting candles against you or encanting against your name. Shout this now loud and clear. Every witchcraft agenda for my life. Satan in the name of Jesus, begin to scatter the agenda now. In Jesus' name we pray. Any power calling my name from the demonic kingdom. You are a liar. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and begin to declare it. Yes. In Jesus' name we pray. Every satanic mirror calling for my face, disgrace your owner. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and pray like that. Masatala kaya bo shenderaba. Yes. In Jesus' name we pray. The Holy Ghost said we should pray this next prayer three hot times. He says he wants to do something through it. And I'm going to just obey that instruction now. Any power using my placenta against me. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and declare it loud and clear. Something is up over there. That's time be released. Be released. Be released. Be released. In Jesus' name we pray. Open your mouth and pray the second time. Deal with that power. Masepetala kaya bo shantara bo In Jesus' name we pray. Let there be silence. The five person that this is really connected to within the next few seconds the power of god will hit them right there where they are and the yoke that that placenta has brought into your life because it's in the wrong hands the yoke shall be broken to pieces that's number one that's number two that's number three number four that's right they have been controlling your life using this material. Be released, be released, be released, be released, be released. Be set free. Aha. Uh -huh. must be released. That's number five. Thank you, Jesus. Every power using my placenta against me. Damn. In the name of Jesus. Deal with that power. In Jesus' 
Jesus' name we pray. To make impact. I believe God. And those who are present tonight are those who have determined that they must make impact. Amen. Right from the beginning of the Bible to the end of it. Listen to me well. God has never been interested in majority. God has always worked with the minority. Thousands and millions of people were in the world during the time of Noah. He only took about seven or eight people out. The rest gone. Minority. Three million people left the land of Egypt. Boys and girls, male and female, what at the end of the day, <laughs> cross over to the promised land. Minority. So from the beginning of the things of God, selected few have always been the one who will carry his purpose forward. After Jesus administered for three and a half years, when he was going away, he gathered 120, 120. And those were the ones enough to turn the world upside down. I'm praying for somebody that the power for you to impact your generation and thereby rewrite your family history will come upon you now in the name of Jesus. A seven for the night. What is impact? And that takes us to Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 13. Let's open our Bibles to Deuteronomy 28. Verse 13. Or let's pick it from 12. The Lord shall open unto thee his good treasure. The heaven to give the rain unto thy land in the season. And to bless all the work of thy hand. And thou shalt lend unto many nations. And thou shalt not borrow. And the Lord shall make thee head and not the tail. And thou shalt be above only. And thou shalt not be beneath. If that thou hearken unto the commandments of the Lord thy God, we shall command thee this day to observe and to do them. Life is a one way street. And everyone is important in God's plan in this world. The harvest indeed is plenty, but the laborers are still very few. God has deposited anointing, gifts, talents, investments in your life. It is therefore very important for our lives to be lived in such a way as to influence others positively. Let's read that sentence again. It is therefore very important for our lives to be lived in such a way as to influence others positively. You need to become a man or woman of positive impact. You need to become a man or woman of positive impact. This is a serious issue. Thousands, thousands and thousands die Every day. Nobody even knows that they have gone. A lot of terrible things happen. Nobody cares sometimes whether they happen or they don't happen. The thing is this. When you die and you leave this earth, what will men say about you after you are gone? We could carry the coffin and head towards the burial ground and begin to sing. Whereas the man did not go anywhere. He had lived a useless life while here. A life that had not made any impact. We see some situation. A person dies. And people cry. They cry. You beg them, it is enough. But they refuse to be pacified. It is because of the impact those ones have made. 
I've seen a situation too when an old person died and everybody in the street came out rejoicing. But that wicked man is gone. That wicked man is gone. And they were rejoicing. Because when this man was alive, if you pass at the front of his house and you don't prostrate or you don't kneel down, it will arrest your leg with his wicked power. And you have to pass at the front of his house or go everywhere. So he had made an impact, but a negative impact. The reason we don't find some people coming to church is because the impact Christians are making in the environment is low. Some are actually making negative impact. Some will tell you, you are inviting me to church. Show me the name of the church. Then they say, say ah, ah, one of your members is coming to sleep with a married woman here. So is that the kind of church are inviting me to? So those ones are making negative impact. They say, come to our church. Say, if your church is the only church that remains with your kind of life that I'm seeing, I will not follow you there. That is negative impact. I'm praying for you that you will not be a negative example. <laughs> Let that man be louder than that. So when you leave this planet, will they see your footprints on the sand of time? Will they say you have made any impact? Will they say you are important? If you are a man of God, will they say a prophet has passed through this place? Would they say a kind woman has passed through this place? A good person has passed through this place? Would they rejoice that you are gone? Or would they be unhappy that you are gone? Sometimes when you see people going to the cemetery, it's easy to know whether the person they are going to bury is important or not important. When you see them carrying a coffin to the cemetery, and those who are burying the person that are smoking cigarettes, they are smoking cigarettes, they are eating chewing gum, they are not singing, they are not dancing. They are just going there blankly. You know that that person has not made an impact. I decree upon your life that the anointing of the impact maker will come upon you in the name of Jesus. <laughs> By the time the great apostle Joseph Babarala died, the demons gathered together. They did a thanksgiving service that this man has gone. The troubler of our lives. His life troubled the enemy. Not the enemy troubling his life. So you need to make up your mind. Are you going to be an impact maker? Or are you going to come to this what I just mark time? It's a decision you need to make. And let me tell you one key statement. Which you must never forget in this introduction I'm making. If nobody is learning anything good from you. If nobody is learning anything good from you, you are living a wasted life. That's the truth. If nobody is learning something good from you, then you have come to live a wasted life. It is time for many of us to wake up from the slumber in which the enemy has put us. It is time for you to wake up that giant, the inner lion in you, that has been sleeping. It's time to wake it up so that they can move forward and make impact. Can you raise up your right hand to the heavens and shout this on your own head? Daniel! Wake up! By fire! In the name of Jesus! Speak unto yourself now! Wake yourself up from the slumber of darkness! Wake yourself up from the slumber of darkness. Wake yourself up from the slumber of darkness. But Kapata Satyala. In Jesus' name we pray. In life, there are ten categories of people. One, those who never discover who they are. Those who never 
discover who they are. That's group number one. They are millionaires, but they don't know they are millionaires. They are intelligent. They don't know their intelligence. They are supposed to be prophets, but they don't know. They are supposed to be lecturers. They simply do not know. There are many blind people like that in our world who don't know who they are. Here is this woman created as an elephant. Now she wants to marry. Because she did not know that she's an elephant. She decided to marry a cockroach. And so that kind of marriage will not work. Because she had not discovered who she is. And this is a great problem indeed. Even in the Bible you can see it working out sometimes. Somebody like Moses originally did not know who he was. He was in the desert looking after animals. Looking after cattle. Imagine the man looking after cattle wrote the first books of the Bible. All these first books of the Bible were inside his tummy. But he was in the desert looking after animals. May you not die with your divine potential. May it manifest. 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 In the name of Jesus. Look at Paul. Paul was busy running and killing Christians. When he didn't know who he was, he was killing them. The man killing the Christians, two third of the New Testament was inside his belly. And yet he was working against it because he did not know who he was. It's a terrible tragedy when you don't know who you are. So one great question that you need to answer and the earlier you answer, the better. It is, who are you? Who are you? Who are you? They came to John the Baptist. They said, who are you? Are you Elijah the prophet? I am not. Are you the Messiah? I am not. Are you that prophet? I am not. But who are you? You should have expected the man to say, You don't know me. Uh -uh. Are you new in this place? You don't know me. You're asking for my identity. My father was Zechariah the priest. My mother was Elizabeth. Uh -uh. The angel professor my birth. He didn't say all that. So who are you? He said, I am the voice. Of him cry in the wilderness. Make straight the paths of the Lord. Make his way straight. Every valley shall be exalted. Every mountain shall be brought low. Say, I am a voice. I am a voice. May the Lord make you a voice. <laughs> Two. Those who do not know what is happening. They are just in this world. They are just looking. Everything is just happening around them. They have no clue what is happening. Three, those who watch things happening, they are just spectators. People are receiving the baptism of the Holy Ghost, they are just spectating. People are receiving miracles, they are just spectating. May you not be that kind of spectator. <laughs> Four, those who make things happen, they make things happen. When they say church, there are some people, they make church happen. Some are not concerned. They are not concerned. They are just floaters. They float in and float out. They see benches. They don't know who clean them. They don't know who sweeps the place. They are not interested. They just watch things happen. But are those who make things happen. Five. They are strugglers and wrestlers. They are just surviving. No breakthrough. Six. They are those who are nothing. Zero. They do nothing. They attempt nothing. They know nothing. Some, there are those who have, but it's not enough. Poverty level. Eight, there are those who have just enough. They can only feed their own mouth. They can't feed another mouth. Nine, there are those who are successful. They have enough. Ten, there are those who are significant. That is, they have more than enough 
and they can impact others positively. Can impact others positively. What is impact? The dictionary defines impact as a forceful effect. You make an effect. Two, this effect that gives color. Three, is highest notable impression of something. Four, highest number that can be attained. Five, is creating positive effect with one's life. Your life is making positive effects. Six, is living indelible mark in the lives of people. Seven, is being a force to reckon with and not a mediocre. Eight, is being a source of change, turnaround, and transformation. Nine, is making notable impression upon people's heart and mind. The bottom line is this. Impact is influencing others positively. They look at your life, they follow your life, and it makes a positive impact. A positive impact. That songwriter says, some have friends who do them evil, but they have failed to make Jesus their friend. They have friends who are impacting them negatively, but they fail to make Jesus their friend. I'm praying one more time that the anointing of the impact maker will come upon your life in the name of Jesus. Let that amen roar like thunder. It's so it's important for your life to make impact. It's important for people to look at you and say, yes, we thank God that you are here. We thank God because of you we could do this. That I didn't know how to do this before, but you taught me and now I can do it. What impact are you making now with your life? What impact are you making with the way you talk, with the way you relate to people? Have you made an impact enough for people to say, oh, you don't need to preach to us, we shall follow you to your church, we can see your lifestyle. Say, your life is a textbook that we've all read, and we're willing to follow you anywhere. In that house where you are living, can they say your life has made impact? I remember one of my fathers in the Lord many years ago, he said when he got married, they were always fighting. Fighting with wife, fighting with wife. After some time, he got a visitor one day. The visitor was their landlord. The landlord was a Muslim, an Elijah man. The landlord knocked their door and got inside and said, Oga, you people go to church every day here. We hear you pray here. Sometimes you speak some language that we too don't even understand. But then you also fight. So, since you are praying and you are fighting, is this what they are teaching you in your church? That you pray and fight, you pray and fight, you pray and fight. That man said, after this landlord has spoken to him, it was as if somebody poured cold water on his head. So, in a sense, the landlord was saying, You are not making a positive impact here. Your impact here is completely negative. And that was a word of wisdom for the wise. He quickly recovered himself. He quickly repaired his ways. And he quickly began to move in his way. The way of the Lord. I pray one more time. That the anointing for a life that will make positive impact. Will come upon your life in the name of Jesus. Why must you make impact? He says you are very important to God's plan in this world. God does not waste time. God does not practice useless exercise. God has an agenda for every life he has created. God has a plan for every life that he has created. God has a specific plan for you even as a citizen there. You are completely unique. There is no two persons like you. God created you to come and carry out an assignment. He has a specific duty for you. God does not just do things without thinking. You are here for a purpose. You are here for an assignment. That's why you must make impact. You must make impact because the adverse is plenteous. 
and laborers are few. Plenty of harvest. Few laborers. Few laborers. Even if we have one million evangelists, it's not even enough to reach the world. Harvest is plenty. Laborers are few. You need to make impact because you can still do much more than you are doing now. You need to make impact because God has deposited anointing, gifts, and investment in your life. That's what somebody has said that the most valuable place on earth is the cemetery. Because in that cemetery lies song that never saw the light of the day, inventions that never came out, dreams that died. Stories that died, ambition that died, ministration that died, right there in that cemetery. They call the place the richest place on earth. Jesus said, Ye are the light of the world. And when you light the light, you don't put it under bushes. He said, The house built on the hill cannot be hid. But the impact we need to make. Is the reason for all those statements about you are the salt of the earth, you are the light of the world, is because God is saying, make an impact. No matter how dark a place is now, if we bring in just a small candle, that small candle that you just lighted, in that darkness, will make an impact. So you are the light of the world, and the salt of the earth. You need to make impact. Because our God is not a mediocre, it's not a minimum God. You need to make an impact. Your impact here on earth determines your reward in heaven. You have to make an impact. Because God wants you to be a voice and not an echo. God wants you to be a contributor and not a consumer. You will certainly be remembered by the impact you make. And it is when you make impact, men can say that, yes, you have passed through this place. It is important as believers, and as Christians who want to make heaven, and as those who want to influence others, that we should strategically plan that our lives, wherever we land, we make a positive impact. And it shall be so in the name of Jesus. Add facts about impact. So impact means to influence or to have strong effect on people or situation. Impact is the ability to use your potential, talent, competent capability and influence to rule your world, people and situation. We are all called to impact our world and everyone has something to give. Many have lived and died without making impact because they did not know how to use their God-given talents to impact the world. Impact is unmistakable, undeniable, significant, a major effect on our environmental generation as a result of our existence. Your impact is a combination of the things that happen around you just because you exist. You are an asset or a liability, a burden bearer or a burden to others, a solution to people's problems or you are a problem yourself. It says you are not to die full of all the potential that God has loaded you with. You are supposed to die empty, leaving your footprint at the sand of time. And like the statement I made before, if you are not imparting any life, and if no one is learning something from you, then you are wasting God's time on earth. He now came with a question. How will you be remembered? when you finish on earth and move on to eternity. Look at the conclusion of the study. So in life, you must be a contributor and not a consumer. God is a God of impacts and you will be remembered by the impact that you have made, either positive or negative. In the history of the world, the men and women we are remembering today for good were those who made impacts, who did something in their generation. The Bible says, and David, David served God 
in his generation. And he slept with his fathers. And David served God in his generation. And then slept with his fathers. The only reason you are reading about David now is because he rendered service. He served, he rendered service. He served others. He made an impact. If you are a selfish person, me, 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 ah, ah, my family, my wife, my children, my wife, ah, 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 you will not make any impact. If you are not willing to do anything free for anybody, you will not make any impact. If you are not ready to sacrifice, you will not make any impact. I fear that some will get to heaven and the Lord will say, welcome, you are here. This is what you are supposed to do on earth. You did not do 5% of what you are supposed to do. And because you did not do your own bit, other people now start having problems. When you do not do your own bit, there will be an aftermath of that your bit you did not do. Because it will certainly show. Because the way God created man, He has not created us in isolation. He created us who can be linked to one another. That is the reason you are in that family. That is the reason you are in that group. That is the reason you are in that house. That is the reason you are in that company. If you leave the place and make no impact, the ball is in your court. Many years back, in a particular factory, they employed casual laborers every day. Casual laborers every day. This set of casual laborers were employed. But among them, they employ one man. This man was a prayer warrior. During break, while all of them are eating, you find him sitting in one corner. Pray, pray, pray. The one hour break, he does not open his eyes. It is when they ring the bell that break is over that he will open the eye and go and continue his work. They start at 9 a.m. in the morning. This brother will arrive around 8 o'clock. Again, while they are sitting outside waiting for them to be called into the company. He starts praying again. He doesn't chat with people. Prayer, prayer. All of a sudden, they were looking for a supervisor. They made him supervisor. But that's why I see cash for liberals. Soon he became a foreman. Others were still liberals. They were still casual liberals. Why? He was making an impact in the place. And the impact was serious. Bow down your head. If you're not born again, Surrender your life to Jesus now. But you see what I'm going to say after me. So, Father, in the name of Jesus, I come before you now. Lord Jesus, come into my life. Take control of my life. In Jesus' name. Amen. These prayers I want you to pray. They are prayers that men of God have prayed down the ages. And that has made an impact in their lives. I can see some people tonight who will pray these prayers. And heaven will visit them. Say, so, oh God, Allah, make me one of your champions. Can I hear you shouting it? Let your voice be louder than that. In the name of Jesus, make me one of your champions. But put us a here. Make me one of your champions. In the name of Jesus. You want to become a champion for Jesus. Shout it loud and clear. Make me one of your champions. In Jesus' name we pray. Power to make positive impact. Shout it louder than that. Fall upon my life now. In the name of Jesus. Power to make positive impact. Fall upon my life now. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Few minutes. Ah,
about 21 transactions will take place. And as many people as are ready to cry out like blind Bartimaeus, will benefit from those transactions. As you pray these prayers, focus your mind on heaven. You might have been passing through one or two other, one or two other things that are bothering you. But put that aside now. Call on him who has the everlasting word. Call on him whose word has the overruling power. Doctors might have said something. The lawyer must have said something. Conspirators must have said something. Your atheists must have said something. But there is a voice in heaven that has an overruling power. His voice is the eternal voice. His power goes from country to country, from continent to continent, from village to village. His power is the imperial power. His power is the power that no man can contest with. Call on those power, the power of God now, that power that can disgrace any power. Call upon him with this prayers. I want you to pray now. And we have a few minutes to pray them. But each of those prayers carry a transaction. Destiny changing transactions. That want me to die in battle. You are alone. In the name of Jesus. I shall not die in battle. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. If you are that person in this service and you receive an actual phone call from a witch doctor, an ethic doctor called you that your case has been brought here. Please run quickly to this altar and be on your knees as you pray these prayers. Can you shout this loud and clear? Power to erase insult. Can you shout this loud? Come upon my life now. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. name we pray if you are in this service this morning a brother a sister and you are not married yet can you shout a loud hallelujah let your hallelujah be louder it is only those two groups of people I want to pray this prayer now Although as a parent you can pray it, you can stand in gap for your own children. There is a purpose for this prayer this morning. Brothers and sisters say you are not married yet. If you are a woman, you will say any power preparing the wrong man for me to marry. 
if you are a man, you say any power preparing the wrong woman for me to marry, die by fire. Uh, those people ready to pray now? Let your prayer lure like thunder. Any power preparing the wrong man for me to marry. In the name of Jesus. I say, sister, I need to pray this prayer loud and clear. Bosete li kayabo shende rabo sanda. Naribo sopoli katende kayabo shende rabo. Aha, aha. A transaction is taking place. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank you, Jesus. And I thank you for praying that prayer. Power, sir. Praying and fasting to see my hand. Can you say that loud? Lion of Judah! Waste them! In the name of Jesus! Jesus, 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 Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Stretch your right hand towards this altar. Father, it is written that we will lay our hands on the sick and they shall recover. Let your power fall upon these hands in the name of Jesus. Let these hands break yokes. Let it destroy multiple curses. Let it send back to the sender every arrow of darkness. Let it destroy every bewitchment. Let it break every curse of infirmity and affliction. In the name of Jesus. Your word says. Affliction shall be far away from your people. Oppression shall be far away from your people. Every spirit of oppression. Wherever you are hiding. Get out now in the name of Jesus. Now, if you have any infirmity in any part of your body, or you are not feeling okay in any part of your body, smite it 21 times, shouting, Go back to your senders. Let's go. Do it well, do it well. Begin to check your body now. That's right. 
the witchcraft sponsored infirmity in the eyes in the womb in the backbone in that right leg is going back to the senders check your body very well do what you could not do before you got here the spirit behind the migraine the spirit behind the shortness of breath is going right back to the center you the spirit of death and hell in the head in the chest in the womb lose your hood 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 in the name of jesus check your body now check your body very well if you find that you brought a situation here you brought the sickness it has disappeared find a way to this hotel very quickly don't let the devil put it back on you just find a way here very quickly the lord is touching one woman over there you find it unbelievable but it has happened check your body very well don't hide so that the devil will not put it back the power that does not want you to sing your song and dance your dance we bury them this morning in the name of Jesus now with a voice that roars like fire and like thunder say my greatness hidden in the belly of the coven sir jump out my fire in the name of Jesus Something is happening over there. Jesus name we pray something is about to be taken out of the womb of one woman it's been troubling you but there's an angel by your side I'm going to count seven from here just smite that womb aggressively and then check back what the enemy has put there whether he's still there the doctor has said there's a problem in the womb get yourself ready now when I can't begin to smite it one do it well one two three four five six seven check that your womb now once you find that what is there has disappeared run quickly to this altar don't let the devil put it back at all don't negotiate with the enemy arrows from witchcraft birds this is a very serious prayer can I hear you shouting it loud? Your voice is not loud enough. Backfire! In the name of Jesus.
command their arrows to backfire. In Jesus' name we pray. Say serpents and scorpions. Hanging around my glory. Is that the Lord who can shout it? Somebody needs to shout this loud. You are a Lord. Duh. In the name of Jesus. Jesus name we pray one hand on the head the second hand on your belly button something is about to happen your head is a symbol of your destiny that your belly button place it's a symbol of your inheritance. You are going to shout this loud and clear now. Foundational powers. Say, I will not go far. Your time is up. There. In the name of Jesus. This is not a money to negotiate. Masateli katela kaaba, baribo soponde keye bo shente rabo santa. In Jesus' name we pray. My heart, in the word of the Lord. Prosper by fire in the name of Jesus. Jesus name we pray three prayers before you sit down Jesus confronted the fig tree and he issued the curse of God upon the tree we are also allowed to issue the curse of God upon anything growing in our life that we don't want. This is why I want you to pray this three prayers seriously. You may say I've prayed it before, but pray it under the anointing of today here. Every tree not planted by the Father in my life dry up down in the name of Jesus every tree not planted by the father into my life die in the name of Jesus
Jesus name we pray say whoa unto any satanic vessel assigned to attack me can you shout the word let me hear you Shout it again loud and clear. Whoa! Unto any satanic vessel. As in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus name we pray power sir defiling me in the dream can you shout it loud you are alive in the name of Jesus Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Father, we thank you for this morning. Thank you for your grace upon your people. Accept our thanks in the name of Jesus. Father, lay your hands upon everyone present here and make our lives a blessing. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Before you sit down, you need to walk up to seven people. I say, my friend, you shall sing your song and dance your dance. In the name of Jesus. Say it to seven people. You shall sing your song and dance your dance. Amen. Go to seven more people. Say, my friend, any power that wants you to die shall replace you in the grave. In the name of Jesus. Any power that wants you to die shall replace you in the grave. Amen. Have yourself a few minutes. God bless you. Some time ago, we began to look at the school of winners the school of winners as many people as are here this morning and you love to be a winner can you raise up your right hand and shout louder than anyone around you anointing of the winner my life is available Come upon me now. In the name of Jesus. Amen.
Amen. Say any power. Aiming to spoil this year for me. This is what to call banking prayer, advanced prayer. Can you shout it loud? You are alone. Jesus name we pray say any seed of wickedness planted in my childhood can you say it loud and clear your voice is not loud enough Holy Ghost fire destroy them in the name of Jesus destroy the seed of wickedness thank you Jesus in Jesus name we pray all eyes closed. Please don't say anything. As I enter into intercession for this group of people, don't even say amen. Father, I thank you because you can do all things. I thank you because your word says every enemy that comes against us shall flee from before our face. They come against us in one way, they shall flee in seven ways. Father, these eight people here whose names have been taken to evil altars. And even as we speak now, their names, photographs are in the altars of darkness. And this is why they have been oppressed. Mapata Lika Rido Seteleka. Those eight people now, let your power begin to move upon their lives one by one. Number one person, number two, number three, number four, number five, number six, number seven, number eight. Just be released. Be released. Be released. Be released. In the name of Jesus. Father, I'm praying for these 15 people too. Who, who have been having confused and unprogressive dreams. And those evil dreams, are, they are manifesting physically. Father, where they are now, begin to lay your hands upon such people and let their deliverance be instant. But one. Number two. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen.
I decree upon everyone gathered there this morning that the Holy Ghost bulldozer shall clear away every power blocking your advancement in the name of Jesus I said Holy Ghost bulldozer shall clear away every power blocking your advancement in the name of Jesus a servant for the man we thank you for another time before your feet we thank you for preservation we thank you for protection we thank you for your healing power we thank you for what you have been doing at the Mana Water Services. Father, as many as I gathered onto this special program of no more embargo and no evil carry over, let every dragon and scorpion of darkness assigned to kill anyone here. Die in the name of Jesus. The dragon must die. The scorpion must die. The dragon must die. The scorpion must die. In the name of Jesus. The strong man holding the keys of your progress. We bury them now in the name of Jesus. We bury them now in the name of Jesus. And every power consulting demons, consulting the wicked against you. I want your amen to be very violent in this one. Every power consulting demons against you. Every power consulting the wicked against you. Every power concerning the rivers against you. Every power concerning the earth against you. Every power concerning the heavenly against you. With a tenfold amen. I command them to die in the name of Jesus. I want you to shout a more dangerous amen as I pray this prayer. Father, I'm praying that every strong man that received promotion this year for afflicting your people, next year is different. I command them to somersault and die in the name of Jesus. All the manufacturing plants of your enemies where they are manufacturing evil against you let their factory of evil catch fire in the name of Jesus catch fire 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 in the name of Jesus Any embargo that has traveled with you up to this period, you embargo makers carry your load in the name of Jesus. Carry your load, 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 carry your load in the name of Jesus.
Makasete la ya Bushanda. Ribo setende. With a town for the man. Put a stop to this malpractice of the enemy. Every power evoking the grave against you. I command them to die in the name of Jesus. Bring out your anointing oil now. Bring out your anointing oil. I pour it on your palm. Something is about to happen. God is going to arise in his anger and scatter the evil spirits that have been summoning your spirit for evil. Put the anointing oil on your palm. Father, let this oil on the palm become oil of healing. Oil of protection. Oil that cancels embargo. Oil that cancels stagnation. Oil that cancels frustration. Oil that cancels every satanic attack. In the name of Jesus. Rub this oil on your forehead now. Continue to rub it aggressively. Don't stop until I ask you to stop. As you are rubbing it, every power fighting your life, saying you will not know peace. Those powers, uh, they are in trouble. They are ahead. They are ahead of those. The head of those powers is broken. It's 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 broken. Is broken. Every spirit of reproach, every spirit of bad luck, as you are rubbing that forehead, is disappearing now. And as you are rubbing the head, the mark of touch not my anointed and do my prophets no harm is manifesting in your life. In the name of Jesus, any altar of failure making you to walk in vain. It comes to now in the name of Jesus. Put fresh oil on your palm again. Father, let this oil ensure that there is no evil carry over and that your people will possess their possession. In the name of Jesus. Sit down and use that oil to anoint your legs. Yes. Rub that leg aggressively. Any strange battle assigned to take your laughter away is cancelled now. You legs hear the word of the Lord. Move into your breakthroughs. Move into your breakthroughs. Move into your breakthroughs. You legs hear the word of the Lord. Refuse to go to the wrong place. In the name of Jesus. That brother over there the battle that wants your life to be like a dry tree. I dry up the battle now. In the name of Jesus. And every battle wasting the blood of your destiny. I bury that battle now in the name of Jesus. Stand to your feet. Put flush oil on your palm again. I wish you could see the transaction taking place now. Rise to your feet. Put oil on your palm again. Father, let this oil be the oil of breakthrough. The oil of profit. 
the oil of progress in the name of Jesus rub your two hands with this oil your hand is the instrument of your labor every good thing that your hand has lost repossess them in the name of Jesus thank you 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 Jesus amen close that bottle of oil and put it away for now thank you Jesus there are three strange prayers to pray before you sit down if you pray the prayers and you lose your voice but you get the breakthrough you've made a good bargain but if you keep quiet it will be disastrous these are prayers of no evil carry over and no embargo three prayers prayers Assigned to donate my blood to the coven. Pray this well. Pray this well. Pray this well. Remember that Sunday testimony. The mommy that was kidnapped. And they could not join him with join her with the others. He left her outside where strange serpents were crawling around. Says she has never seen that kind of big serpents before. And she kept pouring sand on her and said, go your way, I'm not your candidate. The serpents were not there to play with her. Power, sir! Assigned to donate my blood to the coven. Donate your own blood and die. In the name of Jesus. It is important to open your mouth and to pray. Jesus name we pray I want you to be more aggressive this is number two every enemy going from one shrine to the other in order to waste me can I hear you shouting this loud Your voice is not loud enough. Be wasted in the name of Jesus. Yes. Open your mouth, open your mouth, open your mouth. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Say every monster from marine kingdom. Can you say it loud and clear? I 
harassing my destiny. In the name of Jesus. That sister is breaking through with these prayers. You cannot negotiate. Jesus. Jesus. there where you are. If there are specific things you remember that has happened this year and you didn't like it and you do not want it to happen again, this is the time to raise up your voices like fire and like thunder and pray like this. Let your voice be the loudest here. Owners of evil law in 2022 I am not your candidate. Carry your load in the name of Jesus. Oh, yes. Bapotesea. Ribosepia lika. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. And I decree upon your life that any unpleasant situation that you have experienced this year there shall be no carry over in the name of Jesus can you shout this louder than anyone around you now with a voice that roars like fire say no embargo no evil carry over in my life by the power in the blood of Jesus open your mouth and shout it Thank you, Jesus. No embargo. No evil carry over my life. By the power. In the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Silence now. Please don't say anything. Don't even say amen. Until I ask you to speak. Father, Baba, as many as are here, and there are organs in their body being cooked in witchcraft cauldron, let these angels in the midst 
begin to visit such people now. Carry out surgery. Heavenly surgery upon such people. From the top of the head to the source of the feet. From the top of the head to the source of the feet. From the top of the head to the source of the feet. From the top of the head to the source of the feet. Every power monitoring your destiny for evil. I disconnect you from that power. Thank you, Jesus. Before you sit down, when I made this prophetic pronouncement, I want a tenfold giant amen to receive it. Get yourself ready. I decree as the prophet of the Most High God. And by the spirit of the prophets. That favors. That will change your story. Shall manifest in your life in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Pray this first prayer. If you are in this gathering tonight, and a prophet has ever taken you to the stream and bathed you naked, find a way to this altar and be on your knees. Pray the way you've never prayed before. The power of God is here. His hand is said to dismantle everything you have been jinxed with so, so that the Lord can set you free. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Can everybody shout this loud and clear? Including those who are at the front, pray with fire and with power. witchcraft power connected to my root there in the name of Jesus Then we pray. Say every prophetic jinx upon my life. Pray in the name of Jesus. Prophetic jinx. 
In Jesus' name we pray. With a loud voice. And for those who are expecting the miracle. Say, oh God, arise. Kill every messenger of sickness in my body. In the name of Jesus. Yes. In Jesus' name we pray. The powers of Goliath are signed to kill my laughter. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus name we pray say every battle assigned to kill my glory can you say it with only anger expire in the name of Jesus Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. You need to make these pronouncements ten hot times. Make sure that your voice is the loudest here as you utter this prophetic word. Sisters, are you here? Say this after me. Where is the altar of my problems? Is that the loudest the sisters can shout it? Can the brothers roar like thunder? Let everybody shout this loud. Scatter by fire. Say it tight times. of them so that all the blessings that are loaded into this month will not escape from anyone let your voice roar like fire like thunder 
we have just a few minutes to pray these prayers. Person that has vowed to pursue me to the grave. You are alone. Open your mouth and pray. Somebody is breaking through in that prayer now. In Jesus' name we pray. If you love your family, pray this very well. Powers that hate family celebration. Can you shout it with only anger? Before I leave this place, in the name of Jesus, Makatela Kaya Boshendera Bosanda. In Jesus' name we pray. Look at what is happening already. This is not a day to negotiate. Power, sir. Saying that my story will not change. You are a lord. In the name of Jesus. Yes, continue to say it. That's why Jesus brought you here. In Jesus' name we pray. Say, wicked dreams. Wicked vision. Wicked prophecies. Can you shout those three things loud and clear? Your voice is not loud enough. Yes. Yes. Assign to cage my destiny. Scatter. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and scatter it. Open up, open your mouth, open your mouth, open your mouth. In Jesus' name we pray. As we pray this next prayer. If all of a sudden in the dream, you found no air on your head. Somebody has removed all the air. It is a robbery of glory. Find a way to this altar and be on your knees. Pray these next two prayers the way you've never prayed before. Even if you are not at the altar, pray the way you've never prayed before. That wants me to be seeking help from younger ones. Can you shout it loud? Somebody is not angry enough. Jesus in Jesus name we pray power sir preparing me to be a slave to my younger ones 
Can you shout it loud? You are alive. In the name of Jesus. Baseteni kayabo shende rabo sanda. Naribo kosetenda. In Jesus' name we pray. Power, sir. Assigned to use problems to kill my existence. Can you say it loud and clear? Die in the name of Jesus. Aha. In Jesus' name we pray. Cry blood of Jesus. Let your voice be very loud. Terminate every poison in my body. In the name of Jesus. Terminate every poison in my body. In Jesus' name we pray. Two more prayers. Two more prayers. And I wish you could see what is happening. Particularly to those who are praying from the heart. Every battle of promise and faith. Can you shout it loud? Raging against me. Scatter in the name of Jesus. Jesus name we pray save my destiny jump out of every of every coven of witchcraft in the name of Jesus my destiny jump out of every coven of witchcraft in the name of Jesus name we pray. Get yourself ready. Psalm number two. We're going to read together. And pray the psalm together. You ready? Let's go. Why do the hidden rage and the people imagine? Raise up your voices like fire now. Amen. Read verse one again. You are going to pray now. Every rage of the enemy against my destiny. Backfire. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Against the rage of the enemy. In Jesus name we pray. Imagination of the enemy against my life. In the name of Jesus. Somebody is already broken through in this prayer. In Jesus' name we pray. Verse 2. Let's go. The kings of the earth set themselves, and the rulers take counsel together against the Lord and against his anointed. 
You are going to open your mouth again and pray. The Bible says, take counsel together, it shall come to nothing. Associate yourself, you shall be scattered. So speak the word, it shall not stand. Can you shout this loud and clear? Association of wicked elders. Can you shout this loud? Against my Lord, scatter in the name of Jesus. Bakate la kaya bo shendera bo center. Jesus name we pray verse 3 let's go let us break their bounds asunder and cast away their cost you are going to pray like this Power, assigned to disconnect me from the Lord expire in the name of Jesus Somebody is breaking through. They cannot disconnect you. In Jesus' name we pray. Verse 4. He that seated in heaven shall laugh. The Lord shall love them in this. Say, I shall laugh last over my enemies by the power in the blood of Jesus. Open your mouth and decree. name we pray now take a prophetic action where you are begin to love your enemies to scorn <laughs> love them to scorn let it be louder let it be louder let it be louder let it be louder <laughs> Yes, love them to scorn. Love them to scorn. <laughs> Amen. Verse 5. Let's go. Then shall he speak unto them in his wrath and fix them in this flesh. Say, anger of God. my pursuers in the name of Jesus somebody is breaking through with this one too in Jesus name we pray let's go verse 6 Yet have I set my king upon my holy love Zion. I will declare the decree. The Lord has said unto me, Thou art my son. This day have I begotten thee. As of me, and I have given thee the eating for thy inheritance, and the uttermost part of the earth for thy possession. Say, by fire, by force. I possess my possession. In the name of Jesus. Is my fire by force? In Jesus' name we pray. Verse 9. Thou shalt break them with a rod of iron. Thou shalt dash them in pieces like a potter's vessel. 
with a voice that roars like fire and like thunder. Say, I break with a rod of iron every covenant assigned against my life. In the name of Jesus, break down with the rod of iron. In Jesus' name we pray. Say so every instrument of divination. Assign against my life. I dash you to pieces. In the name of Jesus. Every instrument of divination. Assign against my life. I stem to pieces. In Jesus' name we pray. Verse 10. Let's go. Be wise now, therefore, O ye kings. Be instructed, ye judges of the earth. Serve the Lord with fear and rejoice with trembling. Kiss the son, lest he be angry. And ye perish from the way when this wrath is kindled but a little. Blessed are all they that put their trust in me. Shout this loud and clear. I put my trust in God. By the power in the blood of Jesus, in Jesus' name, we pray. Bring out the list of those things you want stories to change on those areas where you want stories to change bring it out and stretch it towards the heavens and shout this prayer without any apology stretch it towards the heavens and shout this prayer louder than anyone around you in the name of Jesus in my life Death! in the name of Jesus thank you Jesus something is happening here beloved Jesus name we pray with that paper in your hand 
by the power in the blood of Jesus by the power that this grace fellow by the power that puts Goliath to shame by the power that slapped the Herod with worms by the spirit of the prophets every point you have written in your paper asking for a change of story receive your breakthrough now receive it 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 your amen is not loud enough receive it 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 in the name of Jesus the kind of job they say you will never get collect it in the name of Jesus the kind of marital breakthrough they say you cannot have collect it in the name of Jesus the kind of scholarship they say you cannot get collect it in the name of Jesus the kind of favor they say you can never get collect it in the name of Jesus the kind of breakthroughs they say you cannot have receive it in the name of Jesus receive it 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 light your amen roll like thunder receive it receive it receive it receive it receive it in the name of Jesus non-compromising amen I should strike this paper to the evidence again shout amen to this prayer with an amen that is uncompromising reckless violent amen I decree that any power that does not want your story to change to glory as you shout this sevenfold demon, demons die. Now pick a song of praises in your mouth as you wave your prayer request as a wave offering to the Lord. Any song of praise. Thank you, Jesus. Great is Great is his Great is his love. Forever the same. He rolled back the waters of the mighty Red Sea. And he said, I never leave you. And trust in me. Amen. Amen. Let that be silenced. Please don't say anything now until I ask you to speak. Don't even shout Amen until I ask you to shout. The spirit that is always pushing you to the back when you are meant for the front I disconnect you from that spirit now be released be released in the name of Jesus the spirit that makes you fail at the edge of breakthrough it is a demon I disconnect you from that demon now you receive your deliverance where you are be released be released be released be released silence sister the 
powers that are seen that your wedding bells will not ring that has entered into your own body I separate you from them now be released 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 Get yourself ready. Another sevenfold amen. Don't let anybody's voice overshadow your voice. In this prophetic decrees, any power that has determined that you will not be better than this in the name which is above all names. I command the power to die. Any power that is saying this is how far you can go, you cannot go further. That is saying where you are now is your bus stop. With a sevenfold amen. I command the powers to die in the name of Jesus. I decree that the great wind of the Lord we sweep away every backwardness in your family with a voice that roars like thunder you now pray this prayer before you sit down the louder you pray the faster your answers my star my glory refuse to be silenced speak in the name of Jesus my star my glory refuse to be silenced speak in the name of Jesus open your mouth and pray like that Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Let there be silence. If you are in this meeting, you know. No, but it's not a story. You know that your ancestors and your parents they worship serpents, and you have been seeing serpents disturbing your destiny. Find a way to this altar and be on your knees. Find a way to the altar, be on your knees. Pray the way you have never prayed before. The Bible said it has given us power to tread upon serpents and scorpions and upon all the powers of the enemy. And nothing shall by enemies hurt us. Everybody must pray this prayer. Whether you are at the front, you are not at the front. Every shadow 
of death. Assign against me. Can you shout his love? This is not a night to negotiate. Jesus name we pray oh God arise give me a new name that will rubbish my enemies can you shout this loud sisters can I hear you shouting this Brothers, can I hear you roaring like thunder? Everybody together! In the name of Jesus! Thank you, Jesus. 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 Father, we thank you for what you have done already. We thank you for the 24 hours breakthrough, the 48 hours breakthrough, the 72 hours breakthrough. We we'll give you praise, we we'll give you honor, we we'll give you adoration. Thank you for the change of story for so many of your people. I decree upon your life now whether the devil likes it or not whether your friends like it or not whoever does not like it does not matter I decree upon your life that by the resurrection power of the Lord Jesus Christ your story must change in the name of Jesus Stretch your right hand towards me here at the altar. Father, let his hands carry the anointing of fire. The anointing of deliverance. The anointing of power. The anointing of glory. The anointing of story changing to glory in the name of Jesus. Your word says we shall lay our hands on the sick and they shall recover. As we lay hands on ourselves, let there be restoration and recovery. In the name of Jesus. Your head is a symbol of your destiny. I'm going to shout seven from here. Just smite that head aggressively. If you're having a headache, don't worry. Smite it aggressively. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. The heavy load is being taken away. The owners of the load are carrying their load. Get yourself ready again. One, two, three. 
four, five, six, seven. Now, if you have any sickness in your body, smile the place 21 times. Shout it, go back to your senders. Let us go. Jesus. Amen. Check your body now. Do what you could not do before you got here. Do what you could not do before you got here. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Once the Lord has seen you, make sure you share your testimony with us. Stretch your right hand to the front again. Stretch you to the front again. Father, I commit these hands unto your holy hand. Any chain, padlock, handcuffs of the enemy upon any hand, swallowing prosperity, swallowing good things, I release your fire upon these hands to burn to ashes every plantation of the enemy. Let these hands receive the fire. 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 We shout on your hands. Make sure nobody's voice is louder than yours. My hand. Hear the word of the Lord. Any good thing you touch shall prosper in the name of Jesus. Say it loud and clear. Somebody is not angry enough. Before I leave this place,
name we pray. Can you shout this loud and clear? Powers assigned to turn my day to night. Die in the name of Jesus. Powers assigned to turn my day to night. Die in the name of Jesus. Powers assigned to turn my day to night. Die in the name of Jesus. Powers assigned to turn my day to night. Die in the name of Jesus. Powers assigned to turn my day to night. Die in the name of Jesus. Powers assigned to turn my day to night. Die in the name of Jesus. Powers assigned to turn my day to night. Die in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say so every strange spiritual dog moving his tongue against me, die in the name of Jesus. Every strange spiritual dog moving his tongue against me, die in the name of Jesus. Every strange spiritual dog moving his tongue against me, die in the name of Jesus. Every strange spiritual dog moving his tongue against me, die in the name of Jesus. Every strange spiritual dog moving his tongue against me, die in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Powers assigned to make testimony an abomination for me. Die in the name of Jesus. Powers assigned to make testimonies an abomination for me. Die in the name of Jesus. Powers assigned to make testimonies an abomination for me. Die in the name of Jesus. Powers assigned to make testimonies an abomination for me. Die in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Oh God, arise. Scatter every witchcraft meeting assigned to judge me in the name of Jesus. Oh God, arise. Scatter every witchcraft meeting assigned to judge me in the name of Jesus. Oh God, arise. Scatter every witchcraft meeting assigned to judge me in the name of Jesus. Oh God, arise. Scatter every witchcraft meeting assigned to judge me in the name of Jesus. Oh God, arise. Scatter every witchcraft meeting assigned to judge me in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Every wind of affliction blowing against my life, scatter in the name of Jesus. Every wind of affliction blowing against my life, scatter in the name of Jesus. Every wind of affliction blowing against my life, scatter in the name of Jesus. Every wind of affliction blowing against my life, scatter in the name of Jesus. Every wind of affliction blowing against my life, scatter in the name of Jesus. Every wind of affliction blowing against my life, scatter in the name of Jesus. Every wind of affliction blowing against my life, scatter in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Any satanic vessel carrying information about me to the dark world, crash in the name of Jesus. Any satanic vessel carrying information about me to the dark world, crash in the name of Jesus. Any satanic vessel carrying information about me to the dark world, crash in the name of Jesus. Any satanic vessel carrying information about me to the dark world, scatter in the name of Jesus. Scatter in the name of Jesus and crash in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So every power assigned to give my destiny a bad name, die in the name of Jesus. Every power assigned to give my destiny a bad name, die in the name of Jesus. Every power assigned to give my destiny a bad name, die in the name of Jesus. Every power assigned to give my destiny a bad name, die in the name of Jesus. Every power assigned to give my destiny a bad name, die in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say, oh God, arise and break every ancient chain assigned to stop me in the name of Jesus. Oh God, arise and break any ancient chain assigned to stop me in the name of Jesus. Oh God, arise and break any ancient chain assigned to stop me in the name of Jesus. Oh God, arise and break every ancient chain assigned to stop me in the name of Jesus. Break every ancient chain assigned to stop me in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Arrows fire to prevent my lifting up. Backfire in the name of Jesus. Arrows fired to prevent my lifting up. Backfire in the name of Jesus. Arrows fire to prevent my lifting up. Backfire in the name of Jesus. Arrows fired to prevent my lifting up. Backfire in the name of Jesus. Arrows fire to prevent my lifting up. Backfire in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Any power. Seeking the wisdom of the elder to stop me. Be wasted in the name of Jesus. Any power seeking the wisdom of the elders to stop me. Be wasted in the name of Jesus. Any power seeking the wisdom of the elders to stop me. Be wasted. Be wasted. Be wasted in the name of Jesus. Any power seeking the wisdom of the elders to stop me. Be wasted in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.
Can you shout this loud and clear? My virtues in the market of darkness, I recover you by fire in the name of Jesus. My virtues in the market of darkness, I recover you by fire in the name of Jesus. My virtues in the market of darkness, I recover you by fire in the name of Jesus. My virtues in the market of darkness, I recover you by fire in the name of Jesus. My virtues in the market of darkness, I recover you by fire in the name of Jesus. My virtues in the market of darkness, I recover you by fire in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Any evil mark upon my life be wiped off by the blood of Jesus. Any evil mark upon my life be wiped off by the blood of Jesus. Any evil mark upon my life be wiped off by the blood of Jesus. Any evil mark upon my life be wiped off by the blood of Jesus. Any evil mark upon my life be wiped off by the blood of Jesus. Any evil mark upon my life be wiped off by the blood of Jesus. Any evil mark upon my life be wiped off by the blood of Jesus. Any evil mark upon my life be wiped off by the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Powers assigned to turn my destiny to a battlefield. I pull you down in the name of Jesus. Powers assigned to turn my destiny to a battlefield. I pull you down in the name of Jesus. Powers assigned to turn my destiny to a battlefield. I pull you down in the name of Jesus. Powers assigned to turn my destiny to a battlefield. I pull you down in the name of Jesus. I pull you down in the name of Jesus. I pull you down in the name of Jesus. I pull you down in the name of Jesus. I pull you down in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say, so I fire back every hour of infirmity in the name of Jesus. I fire back every hour of infirmity in the name of Jesus. I fire back every hour of infirmity in the name of Jesus. I fire back every hour of infirmity in the name of Jesus. I fire back every hour of infirmity in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Father, we thank you for this program. We thank you for our children who are gathered at this program. I give you all the glory in the name of Jesus. Today, the hand of God shall touch you. Today, the power of God shall be mobilized to help you. Today, your prayer requests shall become testimonies. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, it is well with you. Go from strength to strength and from glory to glory. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 We're looking at divine keys for happy life. Divine keys for happy life. A comedian was very depressed. He was having all kinds of mental issues, all kinds of mental disturbances. He was very sad. He was unhappy. He went to see a psychiatric doctor. The psychiatric doctor counseled him, spoke with him, spoke with him, and said, young man, you are, you are still young. You should not be unhappy. He said, you know what? There's a popular comedy show in town. Go there like your colleagues. Go and listen to comedy. Laugh and forget your sorrow. You see, the comedy show is being run by one Don Gonzalez. So go there and then you'll be okay. The man looked at the doctor and said, Doctor, I am Don Gonzalez. I'm the comedian myself. It shows you the issue of happiness is a very, very, very serious matter. May the Lord help us in Jesus' name. And I decree upon your life that every enemy of your happiness shall be disgraced in the name of Jesus. world is a hectic world of suicide, of famine, of war, of depression, of divorce, bitterness, hatred, rape, and all kinds of terrible things. Happiness and joy and contentment are becoming scarce commodities and they are precious commodities indeed. Everyone is seeking after happiness, joy, contentment. But if you look around, beloved, the majority of people have never found true and lasting happiness. 
some even believe that there is no such thing as true happiness. We should ask the question. Is there such a thing as true happiness? Yes. As a Christian, you are supposed to be very happy. God expects us to be happy. God commands his people to be happy. Every enemy of your happiness shall scatter in the name of Jesus. Let's look at some scriptures. In Romans chapter 14, verse 17, it says, For the kingdom of God is not meat and drink, but righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy Ghost. Wonderful scripture. In Philippians chapter 3, verse 1, it says, Finally, my brethren, rejoice in the Lord. To write the same things to you to me indeed is not grievous, but for you it is safe. Now in the popular Philippians chapter 4, verse 4, it says, Rejoice in the Lord always. And again, I say rejoice. Every enemy of your joy shall be disgraced in the name of Jesus. Every power that aids your laughter shall expire in the name of Jesus. Let your amen roar like thunder. Amen. In 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 16, it says, Rejoice evermore. Then in Acts of Apostles chapter 13, from verse 52, it says, And the disciples were filled with joy and with the Holy Ghost. And the popular Nehemiah 8 10, from where we got the song, The Joy of the Lord is Our Strength. Then he said unto them, Go your way, eat the fat, and drink the sweet, and send portions unto them for whom nothing is prepared. For this day is only unto our Lord. Neither be ye sorry, for the joy of the Lord is your strength. For the joy of the Lord is your strength. And the joy of the Lord shall continue to be your strength in the name of Jesus. John chapter 16 verse 22 says, And ye now therefore have sorrow, but I will see you again. And your heart shall rejoice, and your joy no man take it from you. Again, joy. In Psalm 37 verse 4, I'm giving you so many scriptures so you can know that is the delight of heaven. Deny thyself also in the Lord, and he shall give thee the desires of thine heart. And in 1 Peter 4 13, said, But rejoice, inasmuch as ye are partakers of Christ's sufferings. But when his glory shall be revealed, you may be glad also with exceeding joy. You may be glad also with exceeding joy. And in 2 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 10, a passage I love so much, said, As sorrowful, yet always rejoicing. As poor, yet making many rich. As have nothing, and yet possessing all things. And in 2 Corinthians chapter 7, verse 4, he says, Great is my boldness of speech towards you. Great is my glory of you. I'm filled with comfort. I'm exceedingly joyful in all our tribulation. Is joyful in all the tribulations. In 2 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 10, So therefore I take pleasure in infirmities, in reproaches, in necessities, in persecutions. He takes pleasure in distresses for Christ's sake. For when I'm weak, then I'm strong. Listen, beloved. We as Christians are supposed to be joyful and happy. I would like to make some statements which I want you to know very well. I will make them in short, short statements. Number one, the Bible joy is not earthly joy. You can begin to win a football match, you are rejoicing and jumping up, all of a sudden your team begins to lose, it turns out. You may begin to make sales of products, all of a sudden people come to sell your goods, it turns out. You may win the contract and lose the contract again, it turns out. You may have a newborn baby and you're happy later, they say this baby is as familiar spirits, this baby is this is that, it turns to sorrow. You may have a party and the party people come, they were rejoicing, all of a sudden somebody falls down in the party and dies, the party turns sorrow. But you could get a job, you are very happy, then you are retired from the job, it's a problem, it turns to sorrow. You have a new garment, now somebody tore the garment, it turns to sorrow. You have a certificate, now you can't find a job with it, it turns to sorrow. I've seen a birthday party turn to serious sorrow when a strange woman showed up at the party 
and the wife at home did not know how to handle it. In Luke chapter 10, verse 17 to 20, and the seventy returned again with joy, saying, Lord, even the devils are subject unto us through thy name. But Jesus said unto them, I beheld Satan as lightning fall from heaven. So behold, I give unto you power to tread on serpents and scorpions, and over all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall by enemies hurt you. It now says something very important. It said, notwithstanding, notwithstanding, don't rejoice in this. Rejoice not that the spirits are subject unto you, but rather rejoice because your names are written in heaven. The disciples were very happy that day, and they had reasons to be happy. But if the demons are subject to you here, and your name is not in the book of life, it is a disaster. Revelation 20:15 says, a new server was not found written in the book of life, was cast into the lake of fire. So the joy of the world is different from the Bible joy. Exodus 32, 32, Moses said, Yet now, if thou will forgive their sins, and if not blot me, I pray thee, out of thy book which thou hast written. And the Lord said unto Moses, Whosoever has sinned against me, him will I blot out of my book. Listen, beloved. Happiness is not something you stumble on by accident. Happiness cannot be bought, sold, or traded. Happiness does not depend on money. The rich also cry. But happiness is within your grip, it's within your grasp. Let me make this very clear to you. Being miserable is a choice. You are entitled to the sadness you tolerate. Happiness and joy, they are keys to receiving from the Lord. The Bible says in Isaiah 12, 3, that therefore with joy shall you draw water out of the well of salvation. Without joy, you cannot draw water out of the well of salvation. If you keep being sad, you keep being melancholic, you will invite those spirits to you. The devil hates believers. Listen very well. The devil hates believers who laugh him to scorn and who refuse to get depressed. When you refuse to get depressed, you refuse to get sad, the devil hates you. Joy is the fruit of the Holy Spirit that all believers must grow. If not, you are a fruitless Christian. Galatians 5.22 tells us, But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, and faith. Listen, brethren. Happiness will give you health. Happiness will give long life to your body. For Proverbs 15.13 tells us, and I'm sure you know that scripture, says a merry heart make it a cheerful countenance. But by the sorrow of the heart, the spirit is broken. The same Proverbs 17, 22 tells us that a merry heart doeth good like a medicine, but a broken spirit dried the bones. When you are talking about having the joy of the Lord, it means delighting yourself in the Lord, who is your strength. But if you don't delight yourself in the Lord, you will satanically sponsor depression and sadness into your life. A sad and confused heart is evidence of unbelief. Read your John chapter 14 verse 1. Say, let not your heart be troubled, but believe in God and believe also in me. When your heart is troubled, such cannot receive from the Lord. God has keys for happy life. And these are the keys I'm trying to share with you now. Happiness is not found in what you have, but in what you are. And let me tell you one secret. The root of most of the unhappiness is comparing yourself to others. The Bible says comparing themselves by themselves, they are not wise. The secret of happiness, beloved, is to make somebody else happy. 
When you go out of your way to be a blessing to others, you'll be blessed. If you go out of your way to make others happy, you'll be happy. Bitterness is the waste precious moment of a life that is already too short. It's a waste of time to be bitter against anybody. So to change everything about you, simply change your attitude. Once you change your attitude towards life, you have godly attitude, joyful attitude, things change. Good manners, good manners sometimes mean you have to put up with other people's bad manners. That's life. In the Old Testament, there are 27 different words used to describe some aspect of joy. So it's a very key topic in the Bible. But happiness is a byproduct of you pursuing God. So surrender your life to Jesus. Two, stop blaming other people for your mistake. Don't make lame excuses. Three, admit it when you make mistakes and apologize. Four, listen more and talk less. Know when to keep your mouth shut. Five, strive for excellence in what you are doing. Give it your best. Six, always try to be on time. Seven, get yourself organized. Eight, be humble. Nine, be kind to other people. And ten, praises, worship, and warfare. You need to understand this last one very well. It's a key that most people have neglected. It's a key that most people have pushed aside. You must not push it aside. Know for sure that God wants you to be happy. God wants his grace to be mighty upon your life. God wants your joy to be full. Say this loud and clear. Every power that hates my laughter expire by the power in the blood of Jesus. Every power that hates my laughter expire by the power in the blood of Jesus. Every power that hates my laughter expire by the power in the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' name, amen. Every good reader of scripture will soon discover that there are so many unused facilities in scripture. God has various weapons. God has various keys. God has various things that open to us to ensure our happiness. One of it is in what's in Exodus chapter 15 verse 11. That's why we got our popular song. Who is like unto thee, O Lord, among the gods? Who is like unto thee? Glorious in holiness, fearful in praises, doing wonders. And in Psalm 22 verse 3, it says, But thou art holy, O thou that inhabitest the praises of Israel. This weapon is in praises and worship. Praises and worship. When you combine praises, worship, and prayer, you are an overcomer. I read about that uh, illustration. When angels that came to earth, they brought two baskets, one for thanksgiving and one for request. They went back to heaven, and the one for thanksgiving was empty, the one for request was overflowing. The angels had to borrow more baskets. In Second Chronicles chapter 20, the Lord gave a strange instruction to defeat the enemy. He told Joseph that the battle belonged to him. Praises is extolling God for what he has done and is doing for us. Extolling God for what he has done and is doing for us as praises. Worship is extolling God for who he is. The Almighty is the great I am. We extol him for who he is. Two different things. During praises, you count your past victories in Christ Jesus. And then you know that in that situation, God is going to help you. When you recount this victory, it's going to help you in your present circumstances. When the singers of Joseph began to praise and worship the Lord, the Bible says their enemies turned against each other and destroy themselves. I decree upon your life, your enemies shall destroy themselves. Your enemies shall destroy themselves. They shall turn against each other and destroy themselves. This is strange, but very interesting. Praise it, turn the enemies against each other. Declare one hour of praise. Declare 15 minutes of praise. Do you want your enemies to turn against each other? Remove your attention from them and become a praise addict. The psalmist was a praise addict. God 
becomes fearful in battle when we will begin to praise his holy name. Praises defeat the enemy and activate the power of God to work for you. But you see, people find it easy to praise God when things are working well for them. People find it easy to praise God when others are praising God. People find it easy to praise God when they have just obtained a miracle, a breakthrough, a new job, something good has just happened. But when circumstances become unfavorable, it is no longer so. People find it so difficult to praise God. But you see, the key is this, and listen to me well. If you learn to praise God in those times of greatest need, your time of greatest need, then God will strengthen your faith. God will strengthen your faith so much. There is nothing that can defeat you once you flaunt the secret of praise. No devil or evil circumstances can defeat you. No power of the enemy can overtake you once you learn that secret. You become the victor instead of the victim. May you never become the victim in the name of Jesus. You become the conqueror instead of being conquered. You shall not be conquered in the name of Jesus. Press has power and it is a never failing power. We should practice praising the Lord in any situation we have. We should practice praising the Lord anytime, anywhere. And I want you to know this. The devil is an highly riser. He tries to gain attention and focus of people very, very early in the morning. If he succeeds in planting negative thoughts, quarrel, malice, sadness in your heart early in the day, he has had your day. A wonderful way to command your day and to control your day and to take it away from him is to practice praising the Lord when you wake up. This is why you must learn and know songs of praises. This is why you must have a copy of the hymn book. Many have concerned praises to something before the service and you don't have to be there in some places it's been relegated to Sunday morning services and fellowships. It's not supposed to be so. It's supposed to be our lifestyle. Learn to all heartedly praise God, regardless of your situation. You will always be better off than somebody else, no matter what. Remember the story of that man? He had no issues, he was complaining. But he stopped complaining when you find a man without legs. So grumbling and complaining will push away wonderful breakthrough from us. There is no troublesome situation. I repeat that. There is no troublesome situation that praises cannot turn around. There is, however, a big difference between praising the Lord from your mouth and from your heart. Many times, some people just utter words of praise. It doesn't really go into their hearts. So that is not acceptable. We call that kind of praises from the mouth mechanical praise. And you praise God with no expression in your face, and raising your hands without no even the heavens you are raising your hands so it is not acceptable at all. You fail to concentrate, your heart is in a million places, million miles away from where you claim to be praising God. The empty outward mechanical display is not praises. All the entertainment in the church is not praises. Do you find it difficult to sleep? Then practice praising God on your bed. By the time you sing 20, 30 songs of praises, you will sleep. Do you have problems with your temper? Anytime you are hungry, refuse to be provoked. Just begin to praise God when you are provoked, and the anger will die stillborn. Unknown to many, praises is the way to remove plenty of mountains and overcome plenty of difficulties. Praises get your eyes off the conflict to the conqueror. Praises get your eyes off sickness to the healer. Praises remove your attention from the noise of the enemy around you and focuses your attention on Jesus who can give you victory. 
Princess, get your eyes off the dilemma to the deliverer. Many of us do fix our attention on our circumstances and problems. Defeat comes when we, like Peter, focus our attention on circumstances and problems. And you will not be defeated in the name of Jesus. Princess, we keep our eyes off the circumstances and focus them on the master in every situation. The master in every situation. In the midst of Abraham's situation, the Bible says he was strengthened in faith and he gave praise and glory to God. In Romans chapter 4, verse 20 to 21, the Bible says he staggered not at the promise of God through unbelief, but was strong in faith, giving glory to God. So Abraham was giving glory to God while he awaited his testimony, which eventually came. And being fully persuaded that what he had promised he was also able to perform. God performs. Your praise to God will turn your sadness to gladness. It will turn your defeat to victory. It will turn your darkness to light. It will turn your weakness to strength. It will turn your trials to triumph. Wherever praises of God abound, God's presence abounds. Joy and victory will be there. Are you living an unproductive life? Then learn to praise the Lord. Psalm 67 verse 5 to 6 says, Let the people praise thee, O God. Let all the people praise thee. Then shall the earth yield an increase. And God, even our own God, shall bless us. As praises become your lifestyle, whatever you set your hands on, must use it is increase to you. Praises will bring increase and blessings. And I decree increase and blessings upon your life in the name of Jesus. In Luke chapter 17, from verse 11 to 19, we read about the 10 lepers who came to Jesus. They came to Jesus. And Jesus said, go and show yourself to the priest. And as they went along to show themselves to the priest, they were healed. Only one of them, a Samaritan, came back. He came back to give glory to God. And Jesus said, your faith has made the whole. The others did not come back. They were not made whole. They were just healed. He said, your faith has made the whole. Only the man who came to thank God, who came to offer praises, got the information, your faith has made the whole. In Acts chapter 16, you see Paul and Silas again. Paul and Silas were beaten, put in jail. But the Bible says, as they sang praises and prayed, earthquake of deliverance was released and people were set free from their chains. So one serious key to obtain happiness is offering praises and worship to God. God bless you in Jesus' name. If you are here in this program, you've not just surrendered your life to Jesus, bow down your heads where you are, say this after me. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I come before you now. Lord Jesus, come into my life. Take control of my life. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. God bless you in Jesus' name. Immediately after this broadcast, there is a short prophetic message that I want you to listen to. It's highly prophetic, and you must not miss it. After that, there is 30 minutes of warfare praying. You must participate in that. You must not miss it because of the situation in which we find ourselves. God bless us to participate in the name of Jesus. And don't forget that tomorrow is the end of our 15 minutes praises and readings of night one. On Monday 8th of June, We'll go back to our prayer program. The ones we've done twice, we'll do it again three times. God bless you in Jesus' name. I'm praying on the tithes and the offering. Now, Father, we thank you for the tithes and the offering. A good measure of prayers are falling over. Let it be the lot of your children in the name of Jesus. Bless your children to a dumbfounded degree. In Jesus' name we pray. Instructions. 
in the middle of your battles. Instructions in the middle of your battle. Second Chronicles chapter 20. Chronicle KG Instructions in the middle of your battle. Now listen carefully. This is a different service. Actually, this service is to make available to you 70 prophetic utterances. The ball is now in your court to catch them, to arrest them and bring them into your life. But one thing is certain here today. As many people as shall claim any of these 70 prophetic utterances shall definitely have mighty testimonies. If you are one of those who would have testimony, let your amen be loud. prophetic utterances <laughs> second chronicles chapter 20 i read from verse 14 second chronicles 20 verse 14 then upon jaziel the son of zechariah the son of Benaiah, the son of Jelel, the son of Mataniah, a Levite of the sons of Asaph, came the Spirit of the Lord in the midst of the congregation. And he said, What do we pray? Ye on Judah and ye inhabitants of Jerusalem, and thou King Jehoshaphat, thus said the Lord unto you, Be not afraid nor dismayed by reason of this great multitude, for the battle is not yours, but God's. So tomorrow, Lola, go ye down against them. So Behold, they come up Kiesi. by the cliff of Ziz. And ye shall find them at the end of the brook. Before the wilderness of Jeruel. Ye shall not need to fight in this battle. Set yourself. Stand ye still and see the salvation of the Lord with you. O Judah and Jerusalem, fear not, nor be dismayed. Tomorrow, go out against them, for the Lord will be with you. And Joshua bowed his head with his face to the ground. And all Judah and the inhabitants of Jerusalem fell before the Lord, worshiping the Lord. And the Levites of the children of Korahite and of the children of Korahite stood up to praise the Lord God of Israel with a loud voice on her. What a strange battle plan. 20. And they rose early in the morning. They went forth into the wilderness of Tekoa. And as they went forth, Jehoshaphat stood and said, Hear me, O Judah, and the inhabitants of Jerusalem, believe in the Lord your God. So shall ye be established. Believe his prophets. So shall ye prosper. And when
By the same token, those who do not know their God, they shall suffer and they shall be exploited. Know your God, that your God is an awesome God. Your God is an awesome God. This is a very serious matter. And I want you to take it seriously. A few days ago, I was in Congo, Kinshasa. We are at the crusades. We are talking about the mystery of deep troubles. As prayer started, there was a lady in that program. She was 38, 39. She, she had never experienced menstruation. At that age, she was in the program. Immediately, we started praying. A few minutes of the prayer, our mother, who was not at the crusade, ran from home to rush to the crusade ground. I was asking after her. And when she came out, said, I don't know what happened. So a few minutes ago, my younger sister began to confess to witchcraft. I don't know what you are doing here. But it's affecting her there. She has started confessing to witchcraft. She said, when you were born, I will give her your placenta to bury. That she did not bury the placenta. She threw it into River Congo. That's why your menstruation is gone. That was all the mother came to say at the crusade and she went back home. 
the awesome power of our God. Was from that moment, she that began that to that have stomach ache. And by the next day, her menstruation that she hadn't seen for 30, 39 years started. That was the first time I would see somebody totally wet in blood and she's laughing. The awesomeness of the power of our God. I decree upon your life that any witchcraft power hiding anywhere to fire arrows at your destiny. Let the arrows backfire now. In the name of Jesus. You must know the enemy. That the devil is bad and wicked. Third instruction. Do not fear. Fear will not change your circumstances. Fear will not conquer the enemy. When fear is tolerated, faith is contaminated. When fear comes in, faith jumps out. Don't be afraid. No matter the multitude. For do not be dismayed. That is, don't be stressed out. Don't be troubled. Don't be worried. Don't be so, so much melancholic about the situation you are going through. Instruction 5. The battle is not yours. But the Lord. Instruction 6. The only language the enemy understands is violence. And the only thing the enemy respects is power. Seven. You must know your spiritual weapons. The blood of Jesus, the word of God, fire of God, know those weapons. Eight. Know the word of God, which is quick and powerful. Nine. Have violent faith in God. That is, believe in God. He says you shall be established. Number 10, believe his prophets and you shall prosper. Believe his prophets and you shall prosper. Over 7,000 times in the Bible. When God speaks, He speaks prophetically. And when those prophetic words begin to come out today, I know the life of somebody here will no longer remain the same. When God begins his operation, his power lacks respect. When God begins his operation, he can change the rules for your sake. When God begins his operation, he has his way in the wind and in the wild wind. When God begins his operation, he can create something out of nothing. And I pray for somebody here. And any organ in your body that the enemy has destroyed shall be recreated now. In the name of Jesus. When God begins his operation, God can make a way where there is no way. When God begins his operation, 
the threat of your enemy, the plan of your enemy is relevant. When God begins his operation, he can take you from nowhere to somewhere. So seven things are necessary this morning here. If you want to key into those prophecies, number one, you need to surrender your life to Jesus. That is not negotiable. Number two, you need to become a friend of God. And number three, worry must die in your life. Worry will not give you anything. Number four, you need violent faith to key into those prophecies. Number five, you need brutal, merciless, holy cry. The kind of amen you should say is an amen that when the enemy hears it, he runs. If you begin to say amen, amen to these prophecies and you lose your voice in the process, you've made a good bargain. As far as you claim the prophecies, that voice will come back. Then, six, you need violent praises. And seventh thing is to believe his prophets. If a friend brought you here today, you should thank your friend profusely. Because what will happen today in your life will mark a reference point. Rise up on your feet now. Rise up on your feet. It is the prophetic hour. The louder your amen, especially if you know these prophecies are relevant to your life, the faster your answer. I prophesy on the life of somebody here that within the next two months, the Lord will lift you to where no man can put you down.
Whether the enemy likes it or not, you will cross over to the arena of victory. Something is about to happen at home. A miracle that will shock your doctors. It's about to happen. Creative miracles are about to happen. Uh -huh. Every power that has padlocked your success, that has padlocked your children, shall release the keys by force. They shall release the keys. 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 In the name of Jesus. Every serpent that has swallowed the breakthrough of everyone here. Jesus, receive it, receive it, 
You will not shout this loud and clear. Oh, the serpents of the Lord swallow every serpent of my enemy. There is one sister here. If you don't open your mouth and pray this prayer, only God knows what will happen tomorrow. Maybe that's why this prayer is coming out. Can I hear the sister shouting the prayer loud and clear? Brothers, let your voice draw like fire. Everybody together now. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to call on the serpents of the Lord. To deal with every serpent of the enemy. That's right. Aha, aha. In Jesus' name we pray. Uh, that sister over there. Your mother used to fly at night. And used to carry you to witchcraft meetings. Although you are not part of them. Right there where you are. The power of God is coming upon you. And that yoke of witchcraft upon your life is broken instantly. That's the person over there. Power, power of God. Establish my promotion. Can I hear you shouting that loud and clear? Let those who want promotion shout it loud and clear. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and pray like fire. Establish my promotion. In Jesus' name we pray. My Father, release unto me. Angels of power. I pray that you understand that prayer. Can I hear you shouting this loud and clear? There is somebody's voice that needs to be loud and clear. There is somebody who needs to rule like thunder. In the name of Jesus. Yes, go put your mouth and begin to receive the ministry of those angels. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Arrows of confusion. Of the 
Garuda ko Aro Locate the camp of my enemies In the name of Jesus Open your mouth and begin to declare Search it very well. Are you very happy inside? Don't you see powers trying to limit your joy, limit your laughter? Where is the Lord God of Elijah? Let my enemies destroy themselves in the name of Jesus. Yes. Continue, continue. We are not here to negotiate. We are here for serious business. Where is the Lord God of Elijah? Let my enemies destroy themselves. Let them destroy themselves. Let them destroy themselves. Let them destroy themselves. The power of God. Jesus. Aha. In Jesus name we pray. Loruko Jesus Nagadura. Oh yes. Odabe. This is not a time to keep quiet. Neither is it a time to negotiate. Say every gathering against my destiny. Scatter unto desolation. Can I hear you shouting this loud and clear? In the name of Jesus. Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to scatter them. Don't keep quiet. Don't keep quiet. Scatter unto desolation. Desolation. You can make 
Jesus name we pray Loruko Jesus la gbadura o da bayi na be chaos rogodi yan yo bere in the camp of the enemy you know about that there are three persons in this service i want to meet our anointed in you i beg you bo be yi pray this we well o e gba ile idada o every Assigned to use me for sacrifice. Tiwara la ti fi mi rubo. Can you share this Lord? You are a liar. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I mean, some don't understand that prayer. I won't come. I do not know you won't. Do you know that you could be donated spiritually for sacrifice? One day, fire in your car, and you part of me, but come up your rubber. The person has been donated. One day, you found it on car. They may donate an organ in the person's body. One day, fire, and you know, I don't know. That's why I want you to pray this really hard and serious. Sisters, can I hear you shouting it again? Brothers, let your voice roar like thunder. Uh-huh. Everybody together now. In the name of Jesus. Makata setende ke ya bo shenda. Aha. Basa pala ka ya bo ko shenda. Riba sapande ke nde ya bo shenda ya bo ko pala ba. Yes, yes. Don't keep quiet. Don't keep quiet. This is not the day. Don't keep quiet. Aha, 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 aha. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name, we pray. Lord, call Jesus. Like Badura. Yes. Then. Shout this loud and clear. Wickedness of my father's house. Wickedness of my mother's house. Assigned against me. Can I hear you shouting out? Yes. That's right. That's right. Jesus. Jesus, Jesus. 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 
begin to decrease. Begin to decrease. Wickedness of my father's house. Wickedness of my mother's house. A sign against me. Die. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth, open your mouth. The power of God in the name of Jesus. Move. That's right. In Jesus' name we pray. Weapons of my enemies. Oh, we don't want that. We hear the word of the Lord. Go back to your sender. Can I have you shouting that loud and clear? Shout it again with only anger. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and pray. Go back to your center. Aha, 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 aha. Look at what is happening here. That's right. Go back to yourself. In Jesus' name we pray. The Bible says, at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow. Of things in heaven, of things on earth, of things underneath the earth. Sisters, say this after me. My enemies, my enemies. in the heavens, on earth, underneath the earth. Can I hear the sister saying that? Hey, open it with me. Sister, shout it again. Hey, open it with me. You buy a lot. Hear the word of the Lord. A God, oh Lua. Fight yourselves. A bar and a ninja. Can I hear the sister saying everything now? Hey, open it with me. Hey, open it with me. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Brothers, let your voice roar like thunder. Everybody together. Uh-huh. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to declare it.
Jesus name we pray we are still going back to that prayer I want you to turn into machine gun prayer that is like this my enemies in heavens on earth Underneath the earth, hear the word of the Lord. Fight yourselves in the name of Jesus. They begin to say, Fight yourselves in the name of Jesus. Fight yourselves in the name of Jesus. You turn into machine gun prayer. Are you ready now? Open your mouth and pray. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Lord, for Jesus, like by let that be silence now. Don't say anything for now. Just be silent before the Lord. Focus your attention on the blood of Jesus. And the man who was crucified on the cross of Calvary. You, the spirit of death and hell. Operating in the chest of this brother. Operating in the chest of this sister. Hear the word of the living God. That place is not your habitation. You the problem in the bone. And it's as if somebody is pouring water inside the bone. That place is not your habitation. Therefore, hear the word of the Lord. You the arrows fired into the breast. The arrows fired into the right leg. The arrows fired into the backbone. That has been causing tension and stress. That place is not your habitation. You the smell of death. Enveloping that person over there. That place you are is not your habitation. You that strange voice. Speaking to that person over there. That place from where you are speaking is not your habitation. You the plantation of darkness. In various organs of the body. That place you are is not your habitation. It is written. As soon as they hear of me, they shall obey me. The strangers shall submit themselves unto me. The strangers shall be afraid. And they shall run out of their close places. Father, as I count seven from them, let great deliverance happen to those people. In the name of Jesus. I'm going to count one to seven now. You will not be able to stand on your feet if something has to depart from you. But you will be made whole. One, two, three, four, four. Five, six, seven. The power must separate from you. Must separate. Must separate. You the balloon of darkness. Be punched. 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 Arrows of witchcraft. 
I want fire fired against this person to want to see any ye. And it's as if the whole of your body is gone. So I command the arrows to go back to the center. Say, I want to go back to your center. Say, I want to go back to your center. I want to go Father, I'm praying for this person over there. You have swallowed a satanic egg. Right there where you are. There is volcanic eruption in your stomach. Volcanic eruption in your womb. And the plantation of darkness is coming out. It's coming out. It's coming out. It's coming out. It's coming out. That's the power of God coming upon you. Yes. 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 You will shout this loud and clear. Disgrace! Disgrace! Shame! It is you! Back to the senders. Back to the senders. I don't change. Open your mouth and break the chains. Makate sete ya bo shendera basanta. Yes. You that person over there. When you obey, I command your strength, swallowed by the God. To be returned to you now. In the name of Jesus. I command the arrows fired into your body. To go back to the now. In the name of Jesus. You will shout this Sunday's prayer. Oh, keep it. It's a prayer of the psalmist. Very effective psalmist prayer. So, where is the God of Elijah? Contend with them that contend against me. Can I hear you shouting this? Shout it again. Shout it a third time. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and call on the God of Elijah. Contend with them that contend against You will shout this loud and clear. Oki bele ilo rara. Dos. Ayin lekon. 
that will move me forward. Open by fire. In the name of Jesus. Does that to move me forward? Open by fire. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. You say every power questioning my breakthrough. You are a liar. In the name of Jesus. That's right. In Jesus' name we pray. Now with violence and anger, pray this third one. Every agreement against me, at witchcraft covers, can you shout this loud and clear? Scatter by fire in the name of Jesus. Scatter the evil agreement. Scatter the evil agreement in Jesus' name. Pray. My days of greatness. Shout this loud. Problems. 
assigned to bury my destiny. Can your voice be loud? Your voice is not loud enough. Your voice is still not loud enough. Die! In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth, open your mouth. I know that, I know that. That's why you are here. He didn't hear the other one. Basente Catella Kaya Boshenta Raba Ribo Saponda Kaya Boshenta Mopia Laka Da Ribo Cosaponda De Caponda Kaya Boshenta Opia Mata Puya Mata Puya Mata The power of God in the name of Jesus. Continue, continue, continue. Don't be tired. Aha, 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 aha. In Jesus' name we pray. We're making progress. Those of you at the altar here, at my front here, your head, which is the symbol of your destiny, begin to shake that head now. Shake it vigorously. As you shake it, the arrows of discouragement, the arrows of death and hell, will begin to go back to the senders. Shake it. Basanda Katela Bakayaba Ribo Sapala Kayabo Shentera Baraba. Yes, Benny. Yes, Benny. Beginning from tonight, Latia Shalelo. All the doors that the enemies have closed against you, I command them to open now. Let them be open. 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 Whatever distance I've been stolen from your life, by the enemy, recover it now. Recover it. Recover it. Recover it. Recover. 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 Recover it. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Cover your children at the altar with the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. We go back to your seat now. Rejoicing. Declaring that I shall not die but live. To declare the works of God. I shall not die but live. To declare the works of God. Maseka pota likare bosanda yaba. Makanda rabosanta. Aha. Every wind. Bogwa fefe of satanic storm. Ti jizadani. Fired against me. Can I hear you shouting this? Can your voice be louder than that? Backfire! In the name of Jesus! Something is happening here! Uh-huh.
Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Three powers to confront. Before we leave this place. One. Is the power of the emptiers. Work hard. Put in effort. The thing is gathering itself together. All of a sudden, something comes and pour everything that you have worked hard for away. Power on the empty. With more aggression, to battle the second spirit. Power of the Westers. I got a finish of Continue, continue, continue. That's why you today is today. Oh, no, no, no. Enough is enough. Okay. Jesus name we pray. This is number three. As we are praying this number three. If you are in this meeting. And you can remember clearly, very clearly. That somebody issued a curse on you. That it will not be well for you. And you can see the outworking of that curse. Maybe it's your stepmother. Or even your own parents. Find a way quickly to this altar. And be on your knees. And pray like a man or woman from another world. It is dangerous to keep quiet. It is dangerous not to pray with fire and with power. You will shout this louder than anyone here. Power of failure. Father, I'm praying for these children at the altar. Those of you at the altar here, this sevenfold, amen, I want you to shout. When you shout the seventh one, it is likely you may not be able to remain kneeling. You may fall. Because 
the personality sponsoring curses in your life. We jump out. When you shout the seventh prayer, when you shout amen to the seventh one, every curse of failure, every curse of retrogression, every curse of lack of prosperity, you should against anyone at the altar here. By the power in the blood of Jesus, by the power that establishes the heavens and the earth. Let them break now in the name of Jesus. Number two. Number three. Number four. Number five. Number six. Number seven. Number seven. Number seven. Number seven. Number seven. Thank you, Jesus. May go back to your sister rejoicing now. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Aha. 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 That's right. Yes. The satanic handcuff. That put on your two hands. That is binding your prosperity. Look at what is happening. Fire is burning. In those two hands now. That's right. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Oppression of the night. Then we 
pray. I need a change by fire. Take your Bibles, please. Open to Psalm number three. And remain standing on your feet as we read. Open your Bible. Remain on your feet. Standing on your feet. Psalm number three. When you are there, say yes. Close your eyes now. Say this loud and clear. Every prayer I am going to pray now. Can you say that loud and clear? Become fire in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray like that. In Jesus' name we pray. Psalm 3. Everybody read verse 1. Let's go. Lord. Read the verse one again. Can you close your eyes and shout this loud and clear? Power, increasing my trouble. Down. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and decree it. Yes. Bakatela kaya bo shendera bo sanda. In Jesus' name we pray. Read verse one again. Let's go, Lord. Sepasa. Rising up against me. Die by fire in the name of Jesus. Makatela in Jesus' name we pray. Verse 2. Let's go. Close your eyes again. Powers that want me to be hopeless. Your time is up. Death. In the name of Jesus. Something is happening right now. That's why the Lord brought you here. 
In Jesus' name we pray. Verse 3. Let's go. For thou, O Lord, art a sheet for me, my glory and the lift of my head. I cried unto go on, but for I cried unto the Lord with my voice, and he heard me out of his holy head. Shout this loud and clear. Yes. In Jesus' name we pray. Verse 5. I laid me down and slept, and I wait for the Lord to sustain me. Verse 6. I will not be afraid of ten thousands of people that have set themselves against me land up. Every land about enemy scatter in the name of Jesus. Something is happening. name we pray verse 7 arise O Lord save me O my God for thou hast smitten all my enemies upon the cheekbones thou hast broken the teeth of the ungodly so O God arise smite my enemies upon the cheekbones in the name of Jesus, smite them on the cheekbones. In Jesus' name we pray. So, oh God, Lord, break the teeth of witchcraft. Assigned against my life in the name of Jesus. Break your teeth. In Jesus' name we pray. Verse 8. Salvation belongeth unto the Lord. Thy blessing is upon thy people. Amen. Amen. Bring out your paper now of things you want the Lord to change. Bring it out. And stretch it to the heavens. Stretch it to the heavens. And let your amen roar like thunder. Let me give you this announcement from heaven. There is no one who will attend this My Story Must Change program who will not have a mighty testimony. Stretch it towards the heavens. Can you shout this loud and clear? We are the Lord God of Elijah. Lord, let my story change in the name of Jesus. Somebody is breaking through. 
to do. Jesus name we pray let your amen roar like thunder now father we are here because you ask us to come to connect with the story changer every point that each person here had written physically on paper or internally in the heart father by the power that disgraced Goliath by the spirit of the prophets over answer the prayers in the name of Jesus let the story begin to change 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 in the name of Jesus as you stretch that paper towards the heavenlies with the loudest voice you can gather you will shout this loud and clear my story must change to glory by the power in the blood of Jesus can I hear you shouting that Okay, now shout it seven times. Shout it, shout it, yes, something is happening. Continue, continue. Yes, sir. Thank you, Jesus. Silence. Something is happening. The powers of your father's house that have been arranging your seat to the back when your seat is meant to be at the front they have been buried now yes your position that the enemy is sitting upon you are repossessing it now in the name of Jesus The scholarship you are supposed to get is manifesting now in the name of Jesus. Power sitting on your business. They are buried now in the name of Jesus. And I decree by the decree of the prophets and by the powers that sustains the heavens and the earth you shall receive 24 hour miracle 48 hour miracles 72 hours miracle in the name of Jesus a seven for the man With that paper in your hand, 
as you make a wave offering to the Lord begin to sing any song of praises the Holy Ghost place in your heart any song of praises that the Holy Ghost places in your heart yes any song of praises thank you Jesus That's wonderful name, Jesus. That's wonderful name, Jesus. Wave it unto the Lord. That's wonderful name, Jesus. There is no Wonderful name. Wonderful name. Hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. That's wonderful name. Jesus. That's wonderful name. Jesus. There is no Prepare away for now and get and sit down, please. Let me congratulate all those who have come for this program. Or all those who are connected to this program. Those of you who have been to worry before. They have a song. I will translate it to English. What the song says, No be so my life go to handle. Holy Ghost fire change my story. It's a popular warfare song in worry. And that this is not where we end my life. This is not my final bus stop. Holy Ghost fire change my story. And uh, it's a warfare song. They will say, No, be so, my life go to an end. Oh, Holy Ghost fire change my story. No, be so, my life go to an end. Oh, Holy Ghost fire change my story. Very powerful song. I'm praying for somebody here. Any power that wants your current level to be your final bus stop, as you shout a sevenfold amen, they are buried forever in the name of Jesus. Let's take our Bibles again. In Mark chapter 5, we read an interesting episode. Mark chapter 5. This message is titled, I need a change by fire. Can somebody shout that loud and clear? Your voice is not loud enough. Mark chapter 5. I'm going to read from verse 1 very quickly. And they came over onto the other side of the sea, onto the country of the Gadarens. And when he was come out of the ship, immediately there met him out of the tombs a man with an unclean spirit. Who 
had his dwelling among the tombs and no man could bind him no not with chains because that he had been often bound with fetters and chains and the chains had been plugged asunder by him and the fetters broken in pieces neither could any man tame him and always night and day he was in the mountains and in the tombs crying and cutting itself with stones but when he saw Jesus afar off he ran and worshipped him and cried with a loud voice and said what have I to do with thee Jesus thou son of the most high God I judge thee by God that thou torment me not for he said unto him come out of the man thou unclean spirit and he asked him what is thy name and the answer said my name is legion for we are many and it besought him much that he would not send them away out of the country now there was there nigh unto the mountains a great herd of swine feeding and all the devils besought him saying send us into the swine that we may enter into them and fought with Jesus give them leave and the clean spirits went out and enter into the swine and the herd ran violently down a steep place into the sea and, and they were about two thousand two thousand pigs that were choked in the sea go to verse 15 and they come to jesus and see him that was possessed with the devil and who had the legion sitting down clothed and in his right mind and they were afraid listen carefully beloved. the city of Gadara had a serious problem and it was a very popular city too popular now because it was an economic power popular not because they had oil or they had a big market but they were popular because they had a popular madman there was a madman on the loose in Gadara when is on the street children must be locked up women are warned not to move about as far as he was alive nothing was safe men are to be ready to run when you see the madman of Gadara coming madman was as mad as madness the madman of Gadara was as mad as madness can be women and children are not safe roads are unsafe he was ever ready to destroy there was a time they got a city committee together now let us use the other stones let us use strong chains for this man meaning that it was of it was of grave concern to the people the bible says he broke those things apart like paper 
body chains and everything. And he cuts himself with sharp stones. Self inflicted harm. The man dwelled in the tomb. His hair was melted together. His face was unshaven. When you see him, he's foaming in the mouth. Blood will be flowing from the self if inflicted wounds he gave himself. And anytime he's coming, the clanging of chains will be heard. You know, he's on the way. The Bible says he didn't wear clothes. He didn't live in a house, but dwelled among the tombs. And when he's coming, the stench, the smell of the dry pus and his vomit was unbearable. And when he comes against a person, he comes screaming at the person like a wild animal. Who was this madman of Gadara? We don't know much about how he, who he was. But we do know that he was somebody. Undoubtedly, he must have family members. Probably he was somebody's husband before, we don't know. Probably it's even somebody's daddy, we don't know. But see what the demons have done to him now. Even if he had a wife, the wife would not show up. Even if he had family members, nobody would come. But one day, something happened to him to change all that. Something happened to him to change all that. The man was always crying day and night. So let me ask you the question, is this your story too? Are you bound by visible and invisible chains? Is this your story? Is your situation so bad that nobody wants to help you? No family wants no family wants to help. Nobody is showing up. No deliverance can help. Is this your story? Are you completely deceived and manipulated and bewitched by the devil? Is this your story? Are you harming yourself and you don't even know you are harming yourself? Has the enemy affected you mentally? You are not even you don't even know that you are destroying yourself. Are you in a situation where you don't even know that you are running fast to a place where you can destroy yourself? Have you been abandoned by family and friends? Is this your story? Do demons overcome you with ease? Are you feeding from the dining table of darkness? Is this your story? Is it true that any time you try to smile, tears come out? If this is your story, people have put you down. They have relegated you to the background. Your contemporaries have gone far, far ahead of you. If this is your story, beloved, you shall meet Jesus today. And your story shall change. You shall meet the master. You will encounter the son of God. And every bondage shall be broken. Every chain fabricated by witchcraft against you shall be scattered in the name of Jesus. Your story shall change. 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 Story shall change. In the name of Jesus. A boy came to Lagos from the village. He's never been to Lagos before. 
but right from his village he met Jesus came to Lagos to stay with his uncle the uncle had been in Lagos for 17 years that uncle had been living in Lagos for 17 years so he came from the village the man lived in one room this brother from the village slept on the mat anytime they wanted to sleep he slept on the mat he prays at night the uncle will complain about disturbance and order him to be praying quiet prayers then this boy attended a meeting this, this little boy goes to church the uncle does not go to church he, he would track long distance to come to church the uncle believes that he's wasting his time and kept telling him that when you get to Lagos you walk out know that you are going to be roaming around churches the boy attended a program like this and he prayed with holy madness one prayer we, we have prayed before today that, where is the Lord God of Elijah let my story change can you shout that prayer again Shout it a second time. Shout it a third time. That's that's that was the prayer. The next day, where the boy was a messenger. Messenger. That's messenger taking file from here to there. That's what you could find. That's the job you could find. As he was uh, going about his duty, all of a sudden, the managing director of the company was passing by. He prostrated. Happy New Year. Good morning, sir. And the man said, Happy New Year, and walked away. All of a sudden, the man came back. He said, said, Young man, while I was giving Christmas present to people, did I give you anything? He said, No, sir. It's okay. Uh, where are you living? He described to the man. What kind of accommodation? Described to the man. Uh, man said, okay, hold on. Man went to his office. Brought a bunch of keys. Said, I remember this house that was given to me. But, but we don't really wear. Nobody is there. Don't need it. Take the keys and go. I'll give it to you. Uh, the boy pinched himself to convince himself that he was awake. Then he remembered the prayer that he prayed. So he took the keys, went home. Said, so, Uncle. I, ha I have a house. And say, will you not shut up your mouth? Which time did you arrive in Lagos? Say, these are the keys. It's, no, it's a lie. Say, but this is the address. Say, it's a lie. Say, my boss gave it to me. It's a lie. It's okay, I'll follow you there tomorrow. Follow the man there to find a whole building standing. They put in the key, it opened. 
the uncle was dumbstruck. Why the, why the village boy began to dance? Next day he went to work. Went straight to the office of the managing director and prostrated and said, Thank you so much. Again, he was on his way out. The man said, Come back. Is there, is there any furniture in that house? Send us, sir. So, well, so in this company, I change my furniture every two years. So the last one I change, I inside the garage. Go and take them away. Then, for the first time, Uncle said, Where is that your church? Where is that your church? That is how the story of this village boy changed. That God is your God. And so your story must change by fire in the name of Jesus. Your story must change. Your story must change. Your story must change. Story must change. In the name of Jesus. I remember a time. A teacher came to a program like this and we pray this same kind of prayer many years ago this woman was the principal of a school but every month was in debt she was in debt she was in debt every month it, it even got embarrassing she was going to start borrowing money from junior teachers he had grown up children who are graduates but no job she was the one still feeding those who have become graduates the day she spoke to me she said she has a son who is a pilot that you, do i know that she has to be feeding the pilot too because the airline is even flying for the they hardly pay money so i encourage them she came to a program like this pray those prayers and had forgotten about her totally until one day they said she was looking for me I saw her her dressing had changed she put her hand in the handbag and brought out a key and she said Jill this is my pajero say madam what, what happened what happened said do you know that my son is a pilot so they advertise for pilots somewhere abroad and he went there and he was the best so the money they are paying him now is a foreign money he was the one who bought me this jeep and changed my house the story of that teacher changed I'm decreeing by the decree of heaven that your own story too must change in the name of Jesus Light a ema rua like thunder. When we say change, we mean to alter, to make different, to pass from one state to the other, to make something different. That's why one of the most powerful deliverance songs we sing but we don't know his deliverance song one of the songs we sing that we don't know that is very powerful i want you with your loudest voice because it's a song that changes story
Can you raise up your two hands to the Lord? And with the loudest voice you can gather. I mean, I mean in your loudest voice. The louder you sing the song, the better. Do something new in my life. Something new. My story must change prayers. We have few minutes to pray them. But those few minutes are good enough. <laughs> as far as you strike when the iron is hot. There are multiple number of angels around there just moving about. So it's important to concentrate. The first prayer I want you to pray is an attacking prayer. Assigned to consume good things in my life. Can you shout it with anger? You are alive in the name of Jesus. Yes. In Jesus' name we pray. 
you are here, you have started so many businesses. They didn't work. The reason they didn't work is not because you are not effective. It's because the enemy has stolen something from you. By your make, you have a golden hand. Normally, every good thing you touch, you prosper. But it's not so now. You've tried so many businesses. And that's why you are here. Find a way to this altar. And whatever prayer you hear me call, pray them like a man or woman who is not ready to take no finance. Shout this loud and clear. Wherever my glory has fallen down. Yes, that is the power of God coming upon us. In Jesus' name we pray. Strange powers. Chasing away my miracles. Strength powers chasing away my miracles. Expire, 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 expire. In the name of Jesus. Yes. Jesus' name we pray. I want you to lose your temper in the Holy Ghost. As you pray this one. Every tongue gathered to destroy me. Can you shout it loud? Your voice is not angry enough. Destroy yourself in the name of Jesus. Command them to destroy themselves. Jesus name we pray as many of as many sisters that are here tonight and you want a change of story it is time for this commanding prayer sisters shout this loud my story Shouting in. Can I hear the brothers shouting it? Everybody shouting it loud. In the name of 
Jesus. Something is happening, something is happening, something is happening. We are not here to negotiate. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. A louder amen. Raise up your two hands to the heavens. And with a voice that draws like thunder, shout this against this powers. Powers! Assigned to swallow good things in my life. Can you say it loud and clear? You are a lad in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. So shackles of darkness. Caging my glory. Can you say it again with a loud voice? Break away by fire. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. name we pray say fire of God scatter every coven of darkness assign against my life in the name of Jesus let their covens be scattered name we pray can you now shout this louder than anyone around you you month of April hear the word of the Lord prosper me by far in the name of Jesus Somebody is breaking through with these prayers now. In Jesus' name we pray. Eyes closed. All eyes closed. As you lay your right hand upon your head. Or you lay your right hand upon your head. Which is your symbol of destiny. I want you to shout this loud and clear. Shout it the way you love yourself. The way you love yourself. My head! Hear the word of the Lord! Arise and shout! In the name of Jesus! 
Open your mouth and decree it. Shout on your head, beloved, to arise and to shine. Baposetelia, Likayabo Shender Abosetelaba. name we pray that prophet asked questions say who are these the answer came these are the horns that scattered Judah so Judah cannot raise his head there is a horn that can scatter the life of a man and the person will not be able to raise his or head again another name for them is silencers silencers the bible says somebody's voice was silenced in the bible so that his voice will be heard no longer the powers that do not want people to hear the voice of your destiny shall be buried today in the name of Jesus. Where is the Lord God of Elijah? Our Lord! Silence my silence, sir. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Serpents and scorpion voices are signed against my life. In the name of Jesus. Those of you at the altar here, stretch your hands towards this altar. Father, let this hand stretch towards this place. Become hot coals of fire. Let this hands destroy every plantation of the enemy. In the name of Jesus, put one finger inside your ears now and leave it there. Leave it there. As you are doing that, the electric current of the Holy Ghost is flowing into your head through your ears. Everybody who 
we shout this again loud and clear. Archives of darkness. Hear <laughs> in my name. Catch fire. In the name of Jesus. Aha. Yes. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Who sat the catenda caraboshanta? Riba kapia le catenda caraboshanta. In Jesus' name we pray. Father, I'm praying for your children at the altar here. Every evil power that has summoned you, I cancel their power. I cancel their consequences. I cancel their power. I cancel the consequences. I cancel the power. I cancel the consequences. I cancel the power. I cancel the consequences. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we pray. We go back to your seat rejoicing now. The hand of the mighty God has done a wondrous thing in your life today. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Now, the next three prayers I want you to pray. They are prayers vomited by the Holy Ghost to make sure that you do not end up like Samson and that you will not die with your enemy. Can you shout this loud and clear? Every power inviting me to the valley. Thank you, Jesus. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. Silence. There is a holy riot going on in the stomach of somebody here. Why? The enemy wants to use your intestine against you. But something is happening right now. The power of God is coming upon you. And what you have eaten or swallowed that the enemy has been using against your life is coming out. Yes. That's right. All the chained hands and chained legs, your time is up. Let the chains be broken in the name of Jesus. Let the chains be broken. Let them be broken. Let them be broken. Let the chains 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 be broken. In the name of Jesus. Troublers of Israel. In my past. I silence you. Yeah! In the name of Jesus. Deal with the troubles of Israel in your past. In Jesus' name we pray. Now get to a critical point in our prayer tonight. Every register of darkness containing my name. Rust in the name of Jesus. Rust them. Let them be rusted. Let them be rusted. Let them be rusted. Brokatasa tende kayaba. In Jesus' name we pray. Aha. Thank you, Jesus. Silence, beloved. Silence. Please don't say anything for now. I want to pray for three persons who have been held back 
from great prosperity, great victory because of something planted against them. Father, I commit this to your three children unto your holy hand. Whatever has been planted against you in the spirit realm that is holding you back, I uproot them now. In the name of Jesus, receive power to move forward. 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 In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You're that person over there that something makes you to stink in the nose of your helpers. Receive your deliverance now. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. The powers suppressing my destiny. You are a liar. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus name we pray. Witchcraft projections. Isiko pada je into my dreams. Can I hear the sisters shouting this? Brothers, let me hear you shouting it loud. Everybody together now. What are you waiting for? In the name of Jesus. Deal with the wish card projections. Yes. In Jesus' name we pray. There is a word of prophecy attached to this next prayer. There are plenty of people here this morning that this prayer, this, your destiny is waiting for this particular prayer point. And it will be a tragedy if you do not strike when the iron is very hot. Shout this louder than anyone around you. Where is the God of Isaac? Can you shout it loud? Make me laugh. In the name of Jesus. Call on the God of Isaac. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Where is the God of Isaac? Multiply my laughter. In the name of Jesus. Multiply my laughter. Open your mouth and say it loud and clear. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus.
Jesus name we pray ni oruko jesu la gbadura this shall be a week of testimony for so many people shout this without any apology coffin of darkness a sign against me swallow your sender in the name of Jesus command it to swallow its sender in the name of Jesus Jesus. Yes. In Jesus' name we pray. That is a prayer we are going to pray now. But if you are in this meeting today, you just notice that in a mysterious way, very mysterious, your business just went down. Be on your knees and pray like you have never prayed before. Pray with holy and mad anger against those powers. Everybody will shout this prayer loud. Don't let anybody's voice overshadow your voice. Arrows fired against my staff of bread. Somebody is not angry enough in this prayer. Backfire! In the name of Jesus. Yes, recover your business. Recover your business. In the name of Jesus. This is not a money to negotiate. Let your voice be louder than that. Dry up. In the name of Jesus. Any satanic anointing speaking against me. Command that anointing to dry up. Dry up. Something is going on here. Just recover your business. Recover what the enemy has stolen from you. Recover, recover, recover them now. 
Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus name we pray lay your right hand upon your head now and shout this loud and clear garment of this grace I saw you catch fire in the name of Jesus Command the garment of his grace to catch fire. Thank you, Jesus. Garment of this grace, catch fire. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus name we pray shout this loud and clear again powers circulating my name for evil your time is up there in the name of Jesus yes yes Thank you, Jesus. I say this. In Jesus' name we pray. The powers pressing down my head. Don't you are a liar. In the name of Jesus. This is not a money to negotiate. We are not here for negotiation. Thank you, Jesus. Then we pray. Satanic agents assigned to stop me. I stop you before you stop me. In the name of Jesus. I stop you before you stop me. Open your mouth and decree it. In Jesus' name we pray. Altars of satanic delay. Altars of satanic delay. Catch fire in the name of Jesus. The altar.
encounters of satanic delay. Catch fire, catch fire. In the name of Jesus. Bapota Satanica. Rima Kapanda Kayabo Shantaraba. Open your mouth, open your mouth. That's why you are here. Makatende Rabo Shantara Boko Center. Yes, in Jesus' name we pray. Every chain of darkness assigned against my life. Break in the name of Jesus. Break the chains, break the chains. Break the chain, break it, break it, break it, break it. Break it, break it, break it. In Jesus' name we pray. Everybody will shout this again loud and clear. These are the kind of prayers to pray in boiling anger. It's not a prayer of gentlemen. You must roar in desperate prayer. Burn! from my place of birth. Let it be attacking my destiny. Don't in the name of Jesus. In Jesus, then we pray. Powers! Adding sluggishness to my progress. Can I hear the sister shouting it? You are a law. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Say, great physician, Jesus Christ, Jesus, touch me now. For what? In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Say, powers. Blocking my laughter. <laughs> Somebody is not shouting it louder. Is that the loudest you can shout it? I want you to be more aggressive than that. I want your voice to be louder than that. Let your voice roar like thunder. Death! In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Sister, say this after me. Let God be God. In my situation, by the power in the blood of Jesus, can I hear the sister saying his? Is that the best the sisters can do here this morning? Can I hear the brothers shouting the same thing? Everybody together now. In the name of Jesus. 
This is prayer to provoke God into action. Jesus. Jesus. Yes. Jesus. Yes. In Jesus' name we pray. A sevenfold amen. The Bible commands us as Christians to put off the old man for the sinful life and put on the new man in Ephesians chapter 4 from verse 22 that he put off concerning the former conversation the old man which is corrupt according to the deceitful lust and be renewed in the spirit of your mind and that you put on the new man which after God is created in righteousness and true holiness. This is essential for us to achieve the kind of life Christ wants us to achieve. This is essential to make us achieve Christ-likeness. One of the manifestations of the sinful life that believers must put off is anger. Proverbs 16.32 says, He that is slow to anger is better than the mighty. He that ruleth his spirit than he that taketh his city. Anger is an acid that can do more harm to the container in which it is stored than to anything in which it is poured. What is anger? Anger is also known as wrath or rage. It is that strong feeling that will make you want to hurt someone. It is that unpleasant feeling expressed towards someone or something. Anger is a strong feeling of being upset or annoyed because of something wrong or bad. It is an intense emotion you feel when something has gone wrong or someone has wronged you. It is a strong feeling of displeasure aroused because something wrong has happened. Anger is when you feel like hitting or hurting other people. It is shouting and losing control against other people. For one reason or the other, anger is a natural and automatic response to pain. It is an emotion characterized by feelings of annoyance or displeasure. It is a very powerful emotion that can come from feelings of frustration, hurt, annoyance or disappointment. Anger is that strong emotion that you feel when you think that someone has betrayed you. It is that emotional response that you have towards threat, violation or injustice. Anger is a basic human emotion that signals a strong feeling of annoyance. Anger is an emotional response to stress. Anger is that emotion that signifies a feeling of displeasure, which usually comes from fear. Anger is normal emotional response like sadness and fear. Anger is a complex psychological construct and behavior. Anger is a natural adaptive response to stress, which inspires aggressive feelings and behavior. Anger is an emotion we all feel from time to time, sometimes for good reasons. Anger is an emotion we display when attacked or cheated. It is an explosive emotion with lasting effects, but anger is very dangerous. An old adage says, to be forewarned is to be forearmed. It means that if you know about a problem or situation in advance, you'll be able to deal with